Just thinking. We're live. Hello, and welcome to the 29th episode of the Destiny Community Podcast. This one thousand watts is not here this week. She was feeling sick, but in her place we have Broskian as our guest. Hello, hey, Broskian, hey, hey, hey. bearded <laughs> brethren. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help a awesome gamer who's also in chat find the ball so that we can play with it in the tower. So <laughs> tower top. Some balls in the tower. Got it. I don't know why that like distracts me. You know, it just does. The ball the floating right. ball distracts everyone. Floating everybody. balls distract I'm in the tower. Yeah. I'm like, I need to buy that weapon. I see the ball and then boom, I forget it's everything like, I'm no. doing. Yeah, and those those people that can figure out how to run on it in midair. Oh yeah, that's that's oh, fun. Yeah. Like that's fun. you can that you can know the use biggest dirt bag in Destiny is is the guy who pushes you off when you're doing that. Yeah, what the biggest thing that's, you. <laughs> that's you. That's you. Hundred percent. I mean, and then you can take the ball away, and they're running in air, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Broskin, you are um, you are a guy that um, I love to watch on Twitch, and um, you um, you dress up in little princess outfits, and and I you mean, you hey. ride unicorns, right? Yes, no. yes, exactly. So for, for, for those people that don't know who you are, tell me tell tell me about what you do and you know, what's your elevator pitch? Uh, yeah, I mean my elevator pitch is pr- it's pretty much man, it's all about community. Like if I'm if I'm playing if I'm playing on Twitch, I just you know, I'm by, I'm by my viewers and followers to come and have fun, man. We do try I do trial steps on the weekends, I do raid helps on the weekdays. Other than that, we're just playing games together, man, and having fun really. I mean I just try to, I just try to have a you know, positive environment that everybody likes to come out and hang out in. Pretty much. I mean, that's that's about as best pitch as you're gonna get, I guess. <laughs> and nice. so, when did you? When did you? I mean, is Destiny um, the game that you started streaming uh, with? Or? No, actually, Halo, um, Halo MCC. Hmm. Yeah, Halo Master Chief Collection. Actually, that's what I first right. started streaming. So, um, and then you know, I did on there. I did you know speed runs too. So I, I was actually started out you know as speed as a speed runner, and then you know I just played um you know MLG playlists and stuff like that on there, and just had fun. Um, I've always been a more competitive gamer. I mean, back in H3, I competed, and and back in uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Smash Brothers, I competed in Smash Brothers too. So nice, uh, it was pretty fun. Oh, so yeah, back nice. in the day, so yep. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> so are you are you the are you the raging um, hype man? Uh, competitive player? Or are you the stone faced I mean, killer? <laughs> stone faced killer. <laughs> I'm the I in mean, between. In between, we're in between in it. So do you rage? You rage or no? I don't, I don't really rage too much. No, I I I like I like other people raging. It's too funny, man. You get people that, you get people those raids are dying. Do they start raging? You got you got to start. You just got to start laughing and crying because it's funny when people rage. So yeah, you just you just gotta have fun with it, man. I use, I usually don't try to rage. I'm usually a pretty chill guy when it comes to stuff like that. You know, brother, try to help people out and you know try to just try well, to have fun. I've noticed that in your streams. Um, I've spent a, 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 a I've played with you a few times and I've spent a bunch of time was watching you play and. One of the things you do is you really uh, focus on people coming to your chat and chilling out, having fun, and you don't think you don't take things too seriously. Is that is that something that you um, is that something that's developed over time of streaming, or do you feel like that's something that you when you you wanted to start your own stream that that's how it was going to be? Uh, I mean, that's that's how that's how I wanted my stream to be when I when I when I first started a stream. Obviously, I wanted I wanted somewhere people just come out, have fun. We could all joke around and just and, and you know just forget about the crazy stuff in real life that's going on. And um, that's really what I wanted to do, and that's what I feel like we we are doing right now in the stream. So um, yeah, you know, just have a lot of fun, man. Just laugh, cut up, you know, just have fun with each other. And uh, so d- judging judging by your accent, um, mm-hmm. where 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 might you be from, Broskin? Yo, I good old Nash. Minnesota? That sounds Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota? Yeah, that, that sounds like Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a cheese head. Wow, man. You guys are so- <laughs> Wisconsin. Wisconsin, <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> My bad. I don't know. Jesus. Yo, yeah. I'm from, I'm from Nashville, though. Nashville, for sure. Nice. Nashville. Isn't that where you're from, Patrick? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. almost. <laughs> right. <laughs> born, born in Nashville and talked to me last week, and I still lived in Nashville. Now... <laughs> Sorry, other side of the country. Didn't I, yep. so you guys still, must have gotten together all the time? Yeah, oh, that's, that's the problem. We never did though. Yeah, we're always busy as all get out though. I mean, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I'm streaming. When I wasn't streaming, he was streaming. It was just like a lot of craziness. But yep. yo, we had we had a, you know, I was in his chat. He's in my chat sometimes. So yep. we still hanged, still hung out. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you, 
so when you're you you've uh you've been here all along since since the beginning um you've seen the hype being built up for destiny 2 um what are you most excited about coming in for your stream for you personally like what are you what's got you excited about maybe may 18th or what's coming in I mean, uh, september i'm just excited for for new adventures with everybody in the chat man just to have fun you know um, going through, you know, the first raid of Destiny 2, you, you guys remember how Vogue was. Seriously, like some of the most epic times ever. Just, you know, just cutting up, laughing, and 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 having fun with everybody. And and and, and you know, it's it's hype. It's hype is all get out. That first raid comes out, and when you start, finally finish it, man. It's just like, you know, you're just like, yes, you know, what, what, you know, the weapons you get and stuff like that, and and armor, and it's just it's just it's just gonna be a fun time together. I feel like for sure. And the community, you know, it's gonna be you know get bigger and, and better, especially with PC coming on board. So you got more people coming from that side. So it can only get bigger and better from the, from where it's right now. So. Absolutely. And do you and do you do are, do you plan on doing all three like the Xbox? Yeah, yeah I got uh, I got them all. I already got them pre ordered for sure. Every one of them. Right. So you're gonna do each one. Is that? Yeah, it? yeah. You doing nine characters? Right. You doing nine characters? Yeah. How are you going to do I this? I don't know if I'll do nine characters. I don't know if yeah, this, there's six characters is a lot right now on PS4 right? and Xbox. Yeah, that is. So a I lot. don't know. I think I think I might pick like one character on one of the consoles, or maybe two on one of those consoles, and just do like yes. do like seven to eight. I don't know if I can do nine. Like maybe when it gets like in the boring parts, where you're just like, "Yo, I'm just gonna make a new character. We're gonna grind out this character," you know, because there's gonna be those those parts, yeah. you, you know, where there's a couple months in between content. Or you could just, you know, after a month or so, you can make a new character and just have fun with it. So, I'm not say you're yeah. going to play on that character forever, but you know, you're right. just going to have fun with it. So, D That's Destiny kind of Two what launches. You were thinking, Brian, right? so, so, Destiny Two. I'm sorry. I was going to say, so Destiny Two launches. What do you boot up first? Oh man, it's a hard decision. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the chat to man. Really, tell you the truth, Shoot. I'm going to wow. put a poll out there. You're going to let chat it's decide. Like, yo, I'm going to let the chat decide it. Dude. It's like, yo, which one of you guys want me to play first? So, Woo. this way, I'm going to go with it. Ooh. What are you going to uh, do, Taffy? Uh, I'm gonna. I think I've decided I'm gonna be on PS4 first because PC yeah. might have launch problems, and yeah, I can yeah, just yeah. completely avoid PC launch problems, drivers and all that if I just play on PS4 Pro first. That is, that's yeah. that's a, that's that's true too, for sure. Yeah. Plus, you get the exclusive that. content right away. Yeah. Yep. That's another thing. Sadly. Yeah. So no. I think that um, you know one of the other things that I I've heard people ask questions about um, in your chat and. You know, as people get to know you, you're a denial broskin, right? Yep, yep, yep. So how do, how does that how does that work? Well, uh, well, okay. Here's here's how it is. Okay, like I said, I used to compete in Halo Three and 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 Smash Brothers, and I've knew I've known the 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 people at Denial Esports for a long time, and uh, they contacted me and see it, and then you know thought I was a, you know a decent broadcaster, you know decent is what he said. Because, I, like I said, I know the guy. <laughs> he jokes around, he's like, oh, I guess you're a decent broadcaster. But he sent me an really email or whatever, those, and I was uh, like, well. <laughs> so I said, I was like, don't be too nice now, you know. Don't be too nice to get my, my head too big. But he asked me if I just wanted to come on board, man, and and, and, and be a part of the positive community they had there. And I, I thought, yo, I mean, it couldn't hurt, you know, just and, and add you know add another thing under under your belt or another community to come watch you. And, I've you know, I've, I've had, you know, quite a bit of followers come over just from, you know, other other stuff that the Denial Esports people, like, watch, you know, other like, college and stuff like that come over and, and join the channel and they've been there for a while now so i mean it, it helps i guess so in the long run it's, it's been a good partnership and and they're a great bunch of people over there. like i said i've known them since they've been you know since he started the company so that's cool um, good. now does it, does that mean that you sometimes are are you going to be checking out black ops the new the new i'm sorry the new call of duty that's coming out what is i it? don't it's, it's one good thing i don't ha i don't have to play any of the games that they are that, that they are doing right now the only other game i play right now that they're in is, is h1z1 Hmm. Um, I play that. I play that some. I play that sometimes on the PC because it's a really fun game to just play. Um, other than that, I mean, that's probably the only thing I play right now. Other than other than Destiny, for the most part. So, so you're one of the true purists here. You you don't yeah. do variety streaming. If somebody wants I mean, to watch Destiny, they're 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 sub into your channel. I I, I play Destiny mostly. I mean, obviously, ninety nine percent of the time, probably. So, I mean, I play some H one Z one here and there, and like when a new game comes out, sometimes I'll play play a little yeah. bit of that and dabble in it a little bit. But for the most part, that's, my channel is mostly Destiny for sure. Nice. And uh, uh, this is an important question coming in hot from the chat. Why oh. doesn't Holtzman talk like with an accent like this if you're from the same part of the country? <laughs> I, I have no clue. Were you, were, no you born in, were you born in Nashville? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born in Nashville, yeah. Okay. So, so I, I, was, I was West Nashville. And <laughs> yeah. So is, that, is that big? Is that a big yeah, deal? I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm serious. Is that actually I mean, the reason? There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of pockets though in Nashville that talk different. I'm telling you, if you go if you go to South Nashville, 
Like people talk a lot different than North Nashville does. Wow. Or, or, uh, like South, sa- like South Nashville uh, has like kind of more uh, slower, slower yeah. draw to it. Uh, yeah. Like a, like a super, super Southern, like, you know, draw to it. West Man. Nashville is mostly populated by people that kind of moved into the state. So yep. you just don't get it quite get, as much. Yeah. There. You get, yeah. If you get into West Nashville, you're getting closer to like Mount Juliet and stuff like that. And then, yeah, that's the whole, everybody's moved. Yeah, anybody, like most people that live in Mount Juliet have moved there because that city has exploded. Mm-hmm. So anywhere in that West, that West Nashville area, you know, there's, there's, a, yeah, a lot of people moved into them there. So <laughs> I like to it's, it's, it's almost musical. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yeah. So much country music coming from that place. That's probably why you think that, Briar, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the, 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 the same could be said here. I mean, there's a big difference between the accents of maybe say Sacramento, uh, where you're from Tefty and, uh, Oakland where I'm at. Oh. Uh, I don't I know. Mean, uh, come, California come in, come in general, Oak. when it's come when to it's Oakland, metropolitan. I'll, I'll show you a couple. All you I'll show Californians you a all talk the same with your sunshine and your no clouds <laughs> and your earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, like, I mean, oh my here. God! <laughs> like if you're if you're in Southern California and you're like from the Valley, it's like you, it's so totally. I lived an in accent. Los Angeles, and not everybody spoke that way. No, but if you're from there, you're there is a ton of people who do. Mm, it, it, there's, it's like the pockets type of thing, you know. All right, it's like whatever. if you're oblivious to the world, then you might be one of those people that talk that way. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, in Southern uh, California, down in San Diego, it's like, dude. All right, so like, we're gonna go. Boom. Like, do you want to like go hang out or what, bro? You are generalizing <laughs> really so better. much from television really right matter. now. What you do, as long as you have like the the vocal fry at, at the end of it. And I'm right. sorry. Well, none about, of my friends, Destiny, right? None no, of my I friends spoke that Destiny. way in Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, so I've been gone for the entire week, basically. Uh, I just got internet yesterday. Uh, still haven't fully unpacked everything. What? Uh, has anything actually happened? Anything gone on? Uh, Wrath of the Machine launched, or the oh. new 390 Lite version of Wrath of the Machine with the new ornaments, and it's the same as the old version. Really, it yep. doesn't feel any different yep. whatsoever. Nope. Nope. I, <laughs> you, I, get, you can get it, adept exotics out of it now. Okay. Yep. I thought it felt different. You did. You did? So? Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, I want that too. Um, it felt different because um, the increased light level, I felt like, is just enough that, you know, things had to get a little more serious. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, people got to be on their ball a little more for sure. They can't be getting shot by, by boxes. You know, if you get sucked by boxes now, dude, you're, 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 yeah, you're absolute now. So there's a lot of shot. things. There's a lot of things now that would one shot you. In uh, I feel like it's a little more serious, maybe a little more coordination that needs to happen. But other than that, I guess you're right. But it felt like the feeling of going through it with my with my raid team was uh, was that uh, you know we needed to be coordinating and talking because one person down meant a lot more. It it really it, yeah it really does for sure. Especially like when people go down in the middle to kill kill the captain. And they're getting shot. You're getting shot by access, man. Those people in the middle getting just getting wrecked when I was doing raid helps over and over and over. So I had to, I had to go up and take over middle now. So that way everybody wasn't dying. So, Middle's I mean, pretty that's, rough. I guess it's true. Yeah. yeah, middle is pretty rough, though. Yeah. Middle yeah, is pretty middle, rough. I feel like the middle, not only do you need your guy who goes down in the middle to be kind of on point, but you also need the guy who's going to shoot that goddamn uh, turret. Oh, oh the turrets. The turrets are annoying. That, turrets, man. <laughs> That guy will run down there it. and just get not just, not just by those turrets. <laughs> those shanks, man. Those shanks and yeah, oh, the come out of that captain. Brutal. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah. I was getting you get melty going off in there. I think I know yeah, you gotta the, make the sure captain, you kill those. The captain in the center is unusually yeah. squirrely. Like he pops yeah, out yeah. and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and like you, you dark drink him and he's like, Whoop bam. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then he shoots a couple cannon shots and you're like, Oh my god, guardian down. Are you yeah. Yep. yeah, you're dead, man. You're dead fast I, now. A lot faster. I found I found that having a hunter in the center with Celestial Nighthawk was, um, you know, one shots the captains. There's no fuss, no muss. You just pop your super, pop, pop the captain off, and then you're you're good. I to also go. found tether would like work just as well too. As soon as he was tethered, he gets the the headache, and then you yeah. just go down there and dark drink him. Yeah, yeah. They say go yeah. down with a uh, with a Titan or smash or use a use a Nova bomb. Mm-hmm. Well, before we, before we go any further, I wanna I wanna say because there's people talking in chat. Uh, Watts, did we say Watts was not able to be on the yeah, podcast? Did yeah, you say that? Sick. Sick. Why yeah, were sick. people Why are people asking what? 
Because people are just like, just join them. Show starts. Yeah, they're just join them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to read chat anymore, okay? That's what's going to happen. Nobody Thank comes you. in after the chat starts. Nobody. <laughs> starts. All right. I'm, not, I'm the only non-streamer here, so excuse me for being a noob. Thank you. All right. Let's uh, move on. Yeah. I, I got to say, I, I've, like, overall with Age of Tribe, now that we've seen all four of the raids come back, it's been a pretty damn good update. Like, it's... I was pretty excited about it going in. Not like super excited, but excited. Anything, you know, anything fresh and yeah. new in Destiny is great. But I actually have been having a lot of fun getting back into those raids. You know, bringing people through who have never been through before has been a lot of fun. Although, uh, depending on the raid, I have different, kind of a different attitude about it. Like some sure. of them, I really like doing Vault of Glass. I really like doing Crota. But... Taking King, it's just not my raid, man. I, I, I don't want <laughs> anyone in there. <laughs> I, I liked, I liked the Taking King. It was so like I know, man. It felt like it was a lot easier to get people through this time than it used to be for some reason. I don't know what it you was. Know, but, I kind of felt and, that way too. And the art, yeah, we did, we would, we were knocking out raids like within like like fifty minutes, man. Just boom, boom, boom. Uh -huh. Just like you know, we were helping you know four or five at a time. It was just crazy how fast we were knocking out things. And I feel like the Taking King armor, like with with, I think that's my favorite oh, armor now. Great. With dude, oh, the crackle, great. the crackle look, dude. Like yeah. that's the best. That's the best armor I, I think out of all of it yeah. personally. I mean, I, I do. I do like the vlog, like the legs and stuff like that. Some of like the, the, you know, making it look all like you know cool and like mechanical. But it's just like oh, that I, crackle. I just got that. Oh, that crackle so look cool. just looks so good though, man. And the and the Taken King raid. I don't know why it does, but it just, I, it just blew me away when I seen it on on you know on my on the screen. It looked yeah. really good. So I'm just yeah. probably my favorite armor now for sure. Uh, in, in regards to like King's Fall, you guys said it felt a little bit easier now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Slightly. It did feel so, easier. Yeah. I, I think I think I kind of know the reason. Like basically look at look at how the raid mechanics were kind of yeah. designed for us to complete. Um King's Fall was the first raid that really came out where it's like you have dedicated roles. Each yep. each person has a dedicated role and you, that's what you do. And that's why yeah, it kind of that's felt what boring. makes it boring to me though, yeah, I think. Exactly. And that's why like Wrath of the Machine felt so much better is because you had dedicated roles, but there was so much in between stuff between, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes it, the roles it feels you were more doing. dynamic too. Yeah. Like Wrath of the Machine in King's Fall, I feel like if I'm bringing somebody through for the very first time, I very specifically tell them stand exactly right here and shoot at that until yeah. this happens. That's what I you're say. Gonna, too. You're gonna run over to this exact spot and shoot at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, don't even worry about your ogre. Just kill your knight, jump up top, get in, get in the bubble. Hide, yeah. drop down, shoot, or if you're going to do the middle strat, do the middle strat. Either right. way, don't even shoot at your ogre. Just let me kill your ogre. It'll be fine. Just, Where in Wrath of the Machine, I'm like, okay, do, stand here and shoot at that. Unless this happens, then you got to shoot that and run over here. And maybe yeah. you got to back up a little bit and, if this happens. Yeah. And then yeah. you got to run forward. And if the turret's up, you got to shoot that turret. And if, <laughs> you know, if you're, if, if you're, if you're void, then you got to run all the way across to get the void servitor. And, you oh, know, yeah. Like, <laughs> but it, it, it's definitely frustrating for for new people coming in that raid though, and, yeah, and Wrath Machines they can't keep up with it. Sometimes it's like you need to slam this or slam on him. You know, I try to get people standing in the middle, and sometimes they, sometimes it's just hard for people to get. You know, if he doesn't spawn there, run to your plate and just hold and press X in case it comes up. Yeah, and it's yeah. not as hard to get people to understand that part of that part of that raid for sure though. I, I think um, that's the reason why I felt like you know, yeah, Kings Fall is a lot easier for sure. Yeah, I, I think in terms of challenges, I think access challenges is definitely the hardest. For any, oh yeah, definitely yes. For any group, aside for any from challenge. people, yeah, aside from a group of people who um, who raid all the time, like if you're a seasoned group of team that raids all the time, like it's gonna be easy. You you can get it down. But, but when yeah. you, when you have yeah. a group of people who've never raided before get together, Axis Part Two is is by far the hardest challenge, and it's because yep. everybody at some point is gonna have a role that is not in their comfort zone. Like if you say yep. middle is your spot. They, you are going to have to run to the left or right at some point, and right. that's what throws it yep. off. And because you have to focus on whether or not that plate is up or if he teleports to your side, and it happens left, right, center, all those things, that's why it is definitely the hardest of, uh, of the yeah, challenges. Because yeah. Atheon, Atheon, you can just be like, okay, just make sure you run and grab your Oracle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly. True. Yep. I agree yeah, with that. Yeah, Atheon, you can take an absolute novice in. And as long as you can communicate to him that you have to go in that door, kill one oracle, and run back out, yeah. you'll get that challenge. So I thought, it, it I thought, might take I thought, you a little while yeah. to get the time. It might take you a little but. bit, yeah, for sure. Okay, Atheon, I know they said Atheon's supposed to be like the most challenging, but I didn't think, I thought Atheon. I think we had some. I had some teams, man, that was that was hard to get through, but it wasn't near as hard as Axis is sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's mm -hmm. like it's, it's like the, beating a dead horse sometimes, man. It's like come it's on, it's the let's timing. Go. It's the timing of it, <laughs> yeah. right? It's yeah, the, you it's have that, to be there. 
it's that that ba bam ba bam of the of the pounding on the plate to to dropping on the the you know the the back of the boss. It's just like that timing of it is so close. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I'm just the like thing- jump on his back, man. Stay there until you see the plate slammed, and then and just take it. Hurry up, just go as fast as you can. Sometimes it's hard to get people to, to understand that. So do sure, we so. do we want to talk about the big controversy of? of well, before of, we move on, the one of the things I really like about Wrath of the Machine that I hope I'm they not moving on. Forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about DPSing of uh, of of. Oh, the cluster bombs. The boss. Yeah, the cluster bombs. <laughs> <Okay, well, laughs> I got to say it. Yeah, they, I, yeah the way they, sure. the way that it feels much more dynamic in Wrath of the Machine <laughs> because if you're if you have one person go down in your raid group in Wrath of the Machine, it's like the rest of your team kind of can like take on new roles and keep going. If you have two people fall fall in Wrath of the Machine, you still keep going. Yep. Whereas in King's Fall. Oh, like, yeah. Even at the beginning of the raid, like at the totems, like if you have one yeah. person go down, it's like you're it's, well, it's, it's a wipe. Yeah, you it's, know? it's like oh god, you might as well die out because it's going to be hard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's it's one thing about King's Fall. Everybody has to be alive, or yeah. it's 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 a mess sometimes. I don't know. I mean, I've I've had some I've had some good raid teams before that would surprise me that was able to just oh yeah yeah pull through. You could definitely you could definitely you can definitely five man that those parts, but it's a lot harder. It is like King's Fall. Like King's Fall. We had a couple raids the day before yesterday. Like we five, we five man and four man one. Yeah. Um, at the very end, so you know, just yeah, going at it as fast as we could. It's if you have a good juggler that can uh, that can not solo. You know how the solo process of dropping the 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 rocket and you know doing the 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 juggling of that of that whole thing. If there is somebody that can juggle the the rockets or whatever those things are called. Oh, you're talking um, about access part too. Yeah. And then the bombs. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. A, right. That mechanic there. I mean, mm-hmm. I think if you lose a guy there, it can be very difficult if the team is not experienced and yes. they don't have a, a guy that is used to juggling the the yeah um, yeah the rockets yeah. And so it's it's it, on our rate team we have uh, a guy that is used to doing that. So that if there is a, a loss of a player at that point. They know already that they become the juggler of of this this job, right? Yeah. And we can continue going. The hardest thing in that position is if the guy who dies doesn't communicate what his job was. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I yeah. I yeah. Died. That's, okay. That's another thing. What the what fuck are you were doing? Because do somebody else needs to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you died. Tell me you died. Plus, what you were doing. Please. Well, yeah. So, so Briar, can we talk about this controversy? Oh God, yes. Yeah, um, it's it. got it's got I my blood boiling. It does me too. Too, man. People are trying oh, to do I'm, I'm on fire right now. Up, <laughs> I'm on fire. I want Dado's head for this. <laughs> I don't understand how the man could can can lead me astray. Can 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 put me. I I trusted that man. I I trusted him with my life, with my son. I I I pointed my son to videos of him saying how to take down Axis. He told me Dark Drinker was the was the most powerful. He said I could just go there with, and then it turns out it's a rocket launcher. Well, actually, no. <laughs> and it turns out it wasn't. All these it's emotions. Only it, Warpath, <laughs> I believe, out DPSed it slightly. Only when it's in the center. Yeah, only when it's in the center. That's though, it. Yeah. And plus, you can't I, take I, the captain out with that. What are you going to do? Shoot it with the... I mean, you know, you know, you're the, 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 the seeing the community <laughs> get into an uproar and just sit there and. And get all upset about it, and and go after Dado for it. I thought it was super fun. Like I know. <laughs> it, it was a it was a really cool role on a rocket launcher that yeah. somebody said, "Hey, you know, I wonder how good this would be at this specific thing." Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and you know, the community went and did some research on it, and it sure. turned out it was really good at doing this one thing. And now you have options. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have do to. Dark trigger. You can do now. You can do a cluster bomb rocket launcher, or you yeah. can do you know. Yeah. You could, it it yeah, just sure. opened up options. I, I yeah. like that. And it was I mean, a vendor role, so you don't have to be like a god who's been playing Destiny for a year yep. to have a damn good DPS weapon on Axis. Yeah. Sure. Yep, true that. It allowed a lot of... You just had to know about it last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Dead Orbit. Dead Orbit's got a right yeah, Dead, Dead Orbit. Dead Orbit has yeah. one right now. Yep. All, yeah, all, 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 all seriousness, I, I'm glad that there is an option that doesn't keep in LFG groups, it doesn't keep that person out of it, right? Yeah. Because yeah. there is that, that you know, Galahorn on... Crota, there's the 
there's there's the dark drinker on axis there's there's some of these things when you when you patrol in all seriousness i know i was just i was just joking around dado i love you but uh um you know there's a there is that sense in lfg groups that there is nothing else but that that you can use for these fights because that's sort of what is the most efficient and so i'm really glad to see that we're getting these weekly weapon resets that yeah. are really producing a lot of variety in the game I, agree. I mean am i the only one who feels like this is really awesome oh, oh i, I love awesome. that they added that i like i think i think it's amazing that they added i just that. wish I, we had it in year two before or year yeah Jesus. they should have had the whole time dude. they should I mean, have had freaking had awesome take like that man it's amazing yeah it is really is man <laughs> i mean i got a that whoever got that fate bringer uh, uh role the 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 uh, the imago no no the um angel's advocate the, the scout rifle Oh the yeah, dude, I didn't oh, get yeah. that. Fate I didn't get it. What? Oh my I god, that just I should totally, have. I, that that became my gun of choice, and I'm I'm using it all the time. And I just wish I didn't get it. I'm I'm so lamenting this you, not happening in year one. You know it's what's just, really good right now is the wounded. It's got a uh, oh yeah, the wounded yeah, is really good. Crowd yeah. control and outlaw. Yeah, that really is very good. And high caliber. It's got us talking about guns and doing stuff with them. Yeah, yeah. So oh, you're you're specifically caliber. talking about the weekly vendor refresh. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The refresh. That is such a it's it's such a benefit oh, to Destiny because every week there's different roles that you can oh look this thing, and like it did last week with the Warpath, all of a sudden it opens up like a new way to play. It it is it's a wonderful addition to the it's game. And I hope it does. Yeah, it's a lot of yeah, it, just me, it, it makes less you know, points like better too, and a lot more worth getting yeah. now. So yeah, like just setting. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, I feel and, not, way, yeah. and now there's a lot more ways to get them. You can get a lot yep. of them per week. Yeah, tons. You know, tons of them. And I well, love the fact that Patrick has one more video that he has to put out on Tuesday a reset <laughs> that he has to go I, through the entire actually, tower so I don't have to. It's I, actually, I, the, I keep the, getting requests to put out that video, so I'm going to start doing it. You should, you should do it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, I, I like doing it. It's kind of a calming thing to be able to go and go mm -hmm. see all the weapons. Oh, there's one or two good ones. Cool. And then every single week I miss one. Every single week. Like I, I go through ev all the vendors and then like just in the process of like exiting out in the menus, like I just miss one. Uh, so yeah, that's that's always fun to see in the comments. You missed this. You're a horrible YouTuber. Well, nobody. I bet nobody <laughs> picked that warpath out, right? No, no, like no, nobody it, made a video on yeah. Tuesday about that warpath. I mean, I'm pretty. I, no one made a video on Tuesday about it. But when I was, I was like, this is actually a really good PVE role. Nice. But I'm glad. I'm glad people did the math. I still think that Dark Drinker over like. Overall, yes, the, better. I feel like it's better overall. Still better. The, the oh, math yeah. works that Warpath will do more damage in this specific scenario, but yeah. this is like kind of an edge case thing for a lot of weapons where yeah. it, it, overall you need to take the consistency over the, oh my god, this does way more damage in this one specific scenario. Plus, you know, you do have the option to take out a captain with Dark Drinker. You know, there, there's... It, it's yeah. much more utilitarian, and then it just does really good damage overall. Yeah, the so, nice thing about Warpath, though, is that it it does help solve the ammo problem that rocket launchers have, and that was one of the big reasons to run a dark drinker. Like it, it just, I mean, now you can't uh, you can't take does, does down the uh, with the I can't remember the specific perks it has. It has okay. clown the cartridge and yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. I thought it was um, the three in the tube. You know the oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's like, and then, yeah it's like the three and but two, there's yeah. one other. And field Scout. Scout. And Field Scout, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, Field Scout. I, I have a, uh, another rocket launcher that has Field Scout and then uh, the tripod and clown cartridge on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, wow, tripod. this this thing has a, a oh, lot yeah. of ammo. What yeah. I like about it is that it gives you an opportunity to diversify the weapon set of your team that is playing. And, you know, I feel like with the Dark Drinker, if you're going to do appropriate DPS, you need to go where Axis you know, yeah, spots, yeah. right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. And and if you really want to maximize your, you know, contribution, I like I like to be prepared for where he's teleporting to. And it gives that it gives those players that have to be in another spot where, you know, he's he may teleport to next that yeah. it gives them an opportunity to participate in some of that DPS mm -hmm. instead of feeling like they're just you know, holding a position, and I know you can have a sniper rifle. Yeah, I use a rat snipe for sure. Yeah, yeah. you can you can piece. get your shots, but I mean, if you want to be, I think that being able to shoot a rocket, shoot a rocket, shoot a rocket, switch to your sniper, pop, oh, yeah. pop, 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 then they that's just the amount of time for them to trans 
you know, they, they, he, he, he teleports. And I'm not talking about the main DPS phase. I'm talking about the ones that come in up between. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, fire, 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 snipers, empty your sniper, and he's moving, right? And yep, it gives yep. people <laughs> the, in, those, uh, in those far away positions an opportunity to participate in the DPS. And I, and I like that, that that was figured out. And kudos to yeah. the community for, like, yeah, figuring it out and trying yeah. it out. Agreed, yeah. Yeah, I, for sure. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, so we uh, what? Anybody get any good loot? I mean, like all of the adepts. Anybody try? Yeah, I got all the adepts. Try. I mean, I, I feel like most people probably get most of the adepts. I feel like they, they, the armor, man, the armor drops are just so low; it's ridiculous. So. Do you guys think that's a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing. These people thing. come back week after week. Yeah. I think it's a good thing. I, I think it sucks. <laughs> Pub's pissed. I want. He wants I want all my armor. I want my all my armor and and the. Uh, and the armaments, the ornaments. Wait, wait, wait. Damn I, it. I like how the armor is like you know low drop rate, but I wish they would have added to, to the other armor sets, just like they did with Wrath Machines, where you can reroll the armor sets. Because yes. literally, dude, everything's like 85, uh, 88 percent, and I'm terrible. sitting here raging about it, dude. I'm like, yeah, yeah. just give me something to reroll these things with. They gotta just go anything. one of either way. They gotta go one of either way. Drop a shitload of it, a la Iron Banner, you know, whatever drop rates, you know, just yeah, drop a shitload of it so that we can see a lot of different versions of it. Yeah. Or, or if they're gonna drop, drop high one. Level. Yeah, I want. And I want gotta, like even if we had to use glue, I don't care what it is. It's anything, yeah. man. I just want to reroll the stuff because, like, literally, I got I've gotten two pieces out of all the raids that are over ninety percent. Everything I, else I like eighty five to like eighty five to ninety. It's ridiculous. I'm like, what? <laughs> Come on! And they're so dr they're so low. I just want to be able to just reroll it because most of the perks are like just perks and guns I don't even use. Yeah. So it's like, well, I don't use that. Well, I don't need to use that weapon in and 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 you know yeah. in here. So it's not really gonna matter to me. Um, so I wish they, I wish really I definitely wish they were frustrating on the arms, I think. Yeah, yeah, especially right? yeah. Like, I've gotten tons of scout rifle ones. I don't really use scout rifles I'm using hand cannons. Yeah. Or I'm using a the pulse. The only time I want time, scout so. rifle is in Vogue or in uh, in uh, Kingsfall. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes I use it. Sometimes I use it on the, the boxes part for the uh, for the trials the trials scout that has explosive rounds on it. Sometimes I use that yeah, over my hand yeah. cannon. Depends yeah. on what style I'm on. So. But yeah, it'd be nice to it'd be nice to be able to reroll these. I I totally agree with I agree. you. Yeah. Uh, what I think has been that's, interesting, that's, too, is, is having all this gear now and going through these raids, mm -hmm. like you were talking about, well, scouts are typically Vogue. Vault space. Vault space. We need more <laughs> of it again. Uh, scouts typically being in Vogue and in Kingsfall. I've actually been having a good time just experimenting with all kinds of loadouts. Obviously, you have your go-tos. Yeah. Like, I'm going to use Dark yeah. Drinker on Axis. Like, that's just a given. But it still opens it up to, like, okay, well, maybe I'll use Genesis Chain here. Or switch it up and maybe try out uh, explosive rounds with the Fate Bringer in certain situations. Oh yeah, so, yeah. I'll do that depending on the raid group, right? If I'm if I feel like I'm trying to carry a raid group, then I'm using the best min max gear. Yeah, totally. or, yeah. You know, the same but way. if I'm with a group that is competent and I could be I could be fucking about, then yeah, I'm using Drake's Promise in the Vault of Glass. You know, like <laughs> you know, I'm just having fun in there. <laughs> You know, if I go down, I feel like we're still going to beat the encounter, right? No drags, but when is it that, comes is... down to it, when when the shit's hitting the fan, like the, there's always the best loadout for every encounter. That that, that like. totally yep. explains why all my raid team members are such tryhards. <laughs> 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 it's all coming together with me now. <coughs> you're on the oh uh, man, the opposite spectrum. I, I am the guy that's, oh, the, no. that's the carry. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't think you're the carry, you are. Uh, you know, uh, it's whatever. <laughs> um, you, anyway, um, I, I I found that doing um, the raid this week was a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, I really liked seeing the extra, you know, challenge of getting through it. I um, I love getting some of the um, elemental primary weapons simply because do I love doing strikes. I love doing strikes and and when it's a, a primary the small arms burn mm. and then with a with a, with an elemental damage Ooh. i can run strikes for days i love it i don't know why yeah. i just sit in that playlist i was talking about this on stream oh, strikes are fun I feel though like so year I feel three like has anyone. been the year of strikes it's like yeah. we mm -hmm. did a shit ton of strikes to get going to level up for wrath of the machine and then the age of the Rise of Iron book had us doing a lot of strikes. And now the Age of Triumph book has us doing a lot of strikes. I'm just like, I'm getting burnt out on strikes because I just feel like every time, you know, Bungie changes anything in the game right now, it says, go do a fucking shit ton of strikes. Yeah. I, I, 
I just, I just feel like they're like very laid back gameplay. So you, you, yeah, you just want to go in yeah. there and talk to your. If you just want to sit in there and talk or whatever, and just have fun with somebody, you can just go in strikes and just have fun with it. Yeah. That's reason. That's one thing I like about strikes. You yep. ain't got to. You ain't got to like literally pay attention like a hundred percent to it because you yeah. most you got most everybody knows strikes like at the back of their hand by now. Yeah. So yeah. there's there's fun to go in and, and just have fun with, and especially those new um, elemental primaries we got now. Mm -hmm. Like if, if they have it, I wish they would put an elemental burn like the last two weeks we haven't had one really. I, so I just want to go in there and use the darn things, man. Put some put some burns in there. Agreed. Let me go have fun with the yeah. guns. I know. Are there any strikes that you guys will just automatically get out of when you see them come up? It I, really I don't depends. Like, uh, yeah, it, I, I usually it, don't like that PS4 exclusive one too much, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the new one, like, oh, that. Yeah. Loop. It was fun that, for a little while, man, but it feels like it takes it takes, it takes like two, it takes two minutes to run. Well, you gotta like run past everything. I don't know. It's just it's just yeah. Who cares? Just, just run past like, everything. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm a hunter with bones of AO, so in that strike, I just grab the thing, jump. Oh yeah, for care. sure. Wait, and then a minute later, we're killing the end boss. The only like, the only time I leave a strike is if we just had if we have bad luck on it, and it just like keeps coming up with Valus to Arik, Valus to Arik. Oh yeah, and then, like, yeah. And then the the. The Scion flares. It's like it'll oh, just yeah. bounce. It'll bounce back and forth between those two. And yeah. I'm like, I, 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 I am tired of yeah. Mars. Stop it. And then add just add an Omnigol for like the triple threat, and it'll just go in between those three strikes over oh, yeah. and over and over again. And I, that's I, 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 I think stop. I think there's a problem there. I really do. Um, I play a lot of strikes, and it's because um, it's something I can get in and out of really quickly uh, with family and you know being at home and you know all that stuff. Um, but I'm going to tell you that their ma their their rotation is broken because sometimes Both, you right. get stuck. Oh, yeah, you get sometimes stuck you get like stuck yeah, on. Sure. And and yeah. and that's when I start backing out. I, I back out. I go you know leave for a little bit and then I come back in and it seems to fix it. But it, I'll, I'll get I'll get like two or three strikes over and over again and I'm like, come on, man. So this, how hard is so that? for me? What's I don't the strike mind. On? I, I don't mind uh, any of the Mars ones. I'm okay with that. Like if I get time flares again, I'm like, it's a quick strike. It's pretty easy, you know. Uh, yeah. The one that I'm always immediately at the beginning thinking I might back out of this is the saber strike. Even if it's like, yeah, oh yeah. Even even if it's basic, uh, basic, you know, there's no arc burn or anything like that. I'll still be like, is this worth it right now? Do I actually I'll, want to? I'll play back this out if it's arc burn because it gets annoying on arc burn. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, the one for me is Venus, the one where you have to carry that fucking orb all the time. <laughs> uh, it's fine if I'm with two people or even one person who's communicating, but sometimes I will get with teammates who will grab that orb, and I don't oh, know yeah, what the hell they're doing. They're, yeah. they're going to take off. Or they're just like they running just around it. everywhere. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. like, hey, man, I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> what is this ball do, man? The, uh, Where did I put it? That's the Malik strike, like that first opening Malik area. strike I, is just boring. Yeah, it's, it's just, I mean, mm. you know, I... I Live team, you did a good job. You think of reusing the assets of that area, but God, that like there's just why is his health gated so much so that like you like there's just there's always yeah orb things spawning in and it's like yep. right, now I have to take care of this now. It's it's I just feel like it's just, just a, stuck that. in that one little room. Yeah, there's no it's way. There's, it, yeah, it doesn't. And they try to get you to move from there by you spawning in somebody. There, that's a problem, you can't. Though. There's yeah. no other. There's really no other place to call home in there. Yeah, yeah. You go outside and then you get stuck in those freaking blight orbs. You can't jump. Yeah, can't do anything, yeah. dude. You just get red yeah, by they, all that. They, out they there. really. Yeah. The mechanics are awesome. The game. The 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 thing is, if you have you guys gotten close to him, I no, mean you haven't because nobody ever no, does. Like, no, I, I have. I, have, no, I, have yeah. I think I've killed him with a shotgun. On if a you if you put on a sniper or. Yeah, yeah, emotionally, you Patrick. Close to you know, you get in, <laughs> were you close to Malik? Get in Do we need to talk about this? Oh my god! I, I, I've been meaning to tell you this, baby. <laughs> your glowy, you pulsy head. You got a big um, sit on your face. I'm a pop it. That's basically what. So I if you if you put a sniper on, not one of the you know one of the high zoom snipers, and take a look at him in his his specifically his head during the um, phases of his fight. As he, as he, as his, you know, head becomes more exposed, and the 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 it starts to, kind of the gelatinous forms he starts to, it is so detailed and really freaking cool. Like artistically, it is a damn freaking shame that we're stuck in a goddamn room, <laughs> not being able to yeah. see it, and I not mean, able to see it. That he is legit coolly designed. Yeah. If we could move around that space, but no one ever gets to see him. I mean, you it's know, really freaking cool. They did a similar thing with our armor now. Like, if you get the raid armor now, it's got like those holograms on it that kind yeah. of 
change yeah. if you take damage and they come back out. That'd be a cool thing to see him kind of move with Destiny 2 is maybe our armor takes damage or something so you can see it. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, like, it'd be a lot of fun. You actually do sure. see the, the Crota one with the Warlock. Yeah. You got like tips. Oh, yeah. yeah, you do. And yeah, like you a reloading weapon, oh, you got like glowy tips. Nails? Yeah, glowy tips. Yeah. 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 It's like it's like putting spinner <laughs> hubcap rims on your, on your on your car. Like exactly, you can't no, see it's him. not quite that cool, but it's pretty. No, cool. God. no Pat, Pat has a good point. He's got a good point. You put those rims on for other people to look. You're not for, yeah. for you to like look at when you're driving. <laughs> yep. Look how shiny I am. You know. Oh my God. We, <laughs> sorry, this is a random. Back when I used to mod for Half Life, uh, Half Life Two, we we made a mod to put spinners on the uh, little buggy car that you drive around in it. That made a mod. Classy. Yeah, and well, <laughs> and well, the problem was we were like, but now they can't see the mod. So then like we had like a big, we put a, basically a TV screen in the car as well with cameras pointed at each one of the wheels so you could see him so spinning. See spinning <laughs> wheels. You shouldn't be working for Exhibit, man, pimping my ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we, did, you, did, you, did you mod out some whistle tips on that? Oh no! No, we didn't make the. <laughs> we didn't add the woo woo tips to it. No, we oh, we, just, a, we just added the spinners. <laughs> that's an that's an that's an Oakland original, by the way. I know. Is it? Yep. Oh man, spinners! That sounds good. Wow. Yep. It's only it in the like morning. Sparrow. I but oh. re- <laughs> like realistically though, I think it would be cool in Destiny Two to have gear modifications that are cosmetic like that. Like I'd like to have a suite of cosmetic options for my gear. So, oh like, yeah customize it make it look my own yeah. or my own we got a know? cool question about that in uh in the twitter questions this week uh, Do we? it would be it would be super awesome like if if you could have like if you could modify like if you got a chest plate and you wanted to add you know like a sash to it or mm-hmm. you know like yeah, they can, yeah there's one hunter uh chest plate right now that almost looks like a coat like a a bib mm. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it looks like a bib it's like a it jacket like a- Let's yeah, be yeah. honest. It looks like a bib. It looks like yeah. a jacket to me. It's like it's kind of like a bib. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bib. It's. Like I think. A, it's, I think it looks pretty like cool. A... But. But uh, like it would be fun. Like all right, I like this. I like the set of perks on this armor. Uh, maybe I find something along the way that helps me customize it to look. You know, instead of ornaments, which is just one thing, maybe there's like 15 different things that you could add to pieces of armor. Hell yeah. To kind Flare. of customize them. Flare. Flare. But yeah. it would be also nice if they had perks. You know, you know what would be cool? Ooh. You know what would be cool? Like, and Are some of the original... awesome mics and headphones? No, <laughs> wait, no, <laughs> not, not quite yet. Pretty cool. Not well, quite yet. Premature, Paul. Well, what's Jesus. really cool is right. that the, uh, the concept <laughs> armor for, like, hunters, instead of knives, they had ice picks, like, miniature ice Ooh. picks. Ooh, yeah. Like, what if, what if, like, changing your armor instead of throwing a knife, you threw, you know, a little ice pick thing? Oh, that would be dope. That'd be, be kind of cool, are yeah. You, I'd love that Are you saying that... Are you saying that there maybe could be an economy for uh, hunter knives? Yeah, that are you know? opened out of cases, different, and then somebody creates a company oh, to sell those. What? You know? Yeah, what have we done? Yeah. I like this idea. <laughs> yes. This is great. And then you could have knives like a special kind of knife that rarely drops, and then so you usually can got sell like it a on rainbow on it or something. You know? Oh, we're gonna yeah, be, we're like gonna be rich. I found Ooh. this website where we can trade all of them. Completely found it. Didn't? Oh, yes. it. No. yep. <laughs> completely found it had nothing to speaking do with setting it up at all honest yeah speaking of websites no <laughs> doubt you notice these wild mics and headphones that we're using they're just some of the iconic gear that blue creates i swear the website thing will come up in, in just a second blue's award-winning products are the driving force behind professional musicians internet creators and countless elite gaming teams and twitch streamers their yeti usb mic is the internet's most popular microphone and their sadie and lola headphones deliver insane sound and a very personalized fit Blue offers everything you need to completely immerse yourself in the ultimate gameplay experience. Learn more about Blue at BlueMike.com. See, that's where the ad thing came in. And I gotta say, I'm still using this, uh, still using this little blue raspberry here because I haven't actually built my. It sounds setup really good. Yet it yeah, sounds it good. good raspberry sounds, sounds good. nice. Yeah, I, I'm in a very large open room, so there's probably a little bit of an echo in there. Yeah, but, but you know. still, like the the clarity, it's a very uh, detailed it's, it's, mic. It's a. It's a I, 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 I want to say the ad read was good, but can it you show it to the camera? camera? A little premature. Can yeah, you that's like, pretty nice. rotate it? It's tiny. Can we get yeah, it? Yeah, and like I can. It folds I, up I, too, right? Yeah, it folds up, but I can't actually fold it up without unplugging it right now, and that would break uh, Skype. Be, and I think you posted everything. pictures of it in your timeline too. I, I, on Twitter, I can like basically it would kind of fold back like this into itself. Yeah. Nice. And so uh, compact. It, Is it? Yeah, a- and it has a little stand. <laughs> 
Yeah, nice. that's good. That's what we're taking to Guardian Con to do. Not the size that matters, matters, you know? Nice, no, it's, nice. It's, uh, the qual- it's the qu- quality of the condenser head inside. Correct. Mm. <laughs> it comes in a nice little <laughs> microfiber. Oh, God. Raspberry quality filled the microphone. <laughs> mm-hmm. If it's raspberry filled, there's probably a problem. You should see a doctor immediately. Yo, Pope, you oh, mentioned boy. the uh, you mentioned Guardian Con. Yeah. Is anybody else terrified that the beta is going to come out during Guardian yes. Con? I mean, I've yes. thought about it. I've thought about it. It scares me a little bit. It does. Well, fortunately, my flight can be fly, my return flight can be adjusted quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna bring a TV. Like if it happened, I think I'm gonna bring a TV and a Dude, PlayStation. Dude, I was gonna say I have I have one of those I have one of those like portable like you know like little game cases have a TV yeah. inside of it. So I was I'll, I'm literally just gonna I, I I pack I pack the PS4 up or whatever man just take it with me I don't care okay. Guardian Kyle all man. day Destiny all night yep, <laughs> We're doing I, this. no sleep <laughs> we don't need sleep come over to my crib you know how I epic that will be it'd be, it'd be it would pretty be crazy think, oh. think about it no, would be no, bad no, if they no, drop the beta no, that time no there's awful. no good side to this there's no, no good side no there no, there is no, there is no. and it isn't for you guys let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you why this is awesome from the average player standpoint imagine everybody who's there that's a fan of destiny they've they've piled into hotel rooms what yeah. is the last time that you have done a couch lan connection oh, party man we brought playstations yeah they did so they, they, yeah, they're, they all, did. they're all at guardian con and they can't play the beta. It's it's going to be they're, exactly like E3 because there's going to be all this new information coming out. There's a bunch of people playing stuff, and you're not doing it because you're at a you're at a convention and you can't actually play stuff there. Yeah. And they, so that's basically what it would be like. It would be I horrible. Hope, I hope Bungie doesn't do it though. Let's yeah, just, I let's hope. Just so. hope he doesn't I, have, I, I, I think it's supposed to. It. People in people in chat were saying it'll come out like late July, which is I've, I've, I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. Who I've heard knows July, that? Late like July. why? I've heard. Too. I don't know. Nobody. Everybody knows. keeps saying. I don't. Th- I don't think it'll come out during Guardian Con. I think it'll come out in you know, whatever this time. Like, what the fuck do you know? <laughs> I don't think anybody knows. I've, I've heard. I've heard you a lot too. But I don't really think. I mean, yeah, you, know, you know what? Don't... You know what, Briar? It's just the drama of it would be phenomenal, and I would love to see like people. Oh. People Come like watch the world burn, huh, Pope? You know, some guy that lives in in some guy that lives in uh, in, in in Florida, you know, fifteen minutes away from the uh, the convention center, opens up his house, like sixty people show up. It's a it's a land party to end all land parties. You know, there there you know, there's there's a PlayStation on a big screen TV, and everybody's playing. Those are the kind of epic moments. Oh yeah, that, for sure. That, 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 that would be but. talked about for generations. We talked about, but it wouldn't be fun though. For yeah, first. it would be fun. I'd be like, sure. "Give me that controller. I needs to play." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Right. I'm gonna hook up this capture card. I'm gonna just <laughs> sit here for the next twelve hours. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna encourage everybody to bring their PlayStations just in case. Well, well okay. hopefully, hopefully we know by E3. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we know like when the when it is. We find out sure. May 18th when the beta. Okay. Well, yeah, if, me too. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. And you know, there's for sure a beta coming. But what if? Sure. And alpha drops, you know? What if the oh, elusive yeah. alpha is spotted in the wild? And we could- I, I kind of expect an alpha, to be honest. Then, then what, what they're going to do, what, you know, what uh, Goth and Broman are going to do is they're going to they're gonna cancel the Destiny um, uh, com- competitive match at Guardian Con, and they're going to open up all those stations they to, hope, I hope. to <laughs> playing Destiny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure the sponsors of that would love it. <laughs> <laughs> Logistics. Whatever, man. I'm just saying it would be awesome. I don't want that. Keep to happen using at that all. word. I don't think that means. What I don't think you know what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like chaos. I like. I like. Clearly, the, I like what is produced when conflict meets, you know, an impassable force, and it just ah, and then something awesome is produced. That's what I like. Well, yeah, you know, well, yeah. What if it's just yep. pure pandemonium? I think that's what it's going to be. I love that. <laughs> I, I, I am the kind of guy that wishes that we would have like a zombie apocalypse just so I can I see think you're what happens. Shit, Pope, because every time we start a raid together <laughs> or we start a crucible match together, you're like, you're Mr. Like, we got to get organized here, guys. We need to like, <laughs> yeah. you need to have your role. You need to have your role. <laughs> this, is, this is two different sides of Pope, and one of them is clearly bullshit. <laughs> this, is, this is true. Yeah, this is All true. right. All you guys say that that would be horrible. So I, I, th- I, I allowed my mind to think, what would it, why would it be awesome? And it and that's why a sixty-person LAN party with a game that can only yeah. play that's no split screen. 
You know? <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Right. You don't, don't know that. Support. You don't know that, <laughs> Tefty. Split screen you don't know coming that. to Destiny 2. Oh, my God. <laughs> WWE, <laughs> Fucking one person, one person. WrestleMania, controls. bro. WrestleMania in the backyard. Whoever wins is the fight. Every PlayStation and Xbox in Florida would be sold out. <laughs> <laughs> and every HD, every every TV that's 32 inches or smaller. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. So how about this? They're going to show gameplay on the 18th of May. Do you think yeah. that that would tie in really well with like a guys? Here's what it looks like. Here's what you're doing. Here's your guardians and stuff. And also, you're going to be able to try it out on this date. I hope no, no, I think right then, 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 then. Do you really think then. May? Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry, next Tuesday. Tuesday. I, will, I will bet oh. you. I will bet you. Okay. That we get the PlayStation exclusive Alpha. That's what I'm alpha. talking about. I can see an Alpha drop on May. I can see an Alpha. Alpha. I can see a PlayStation on May 18th. I can see a PlayStation Alpha. For I'm sure. telling you, it happens. Who wants to bet me? I don't know about May 18th, though. That's the thing. Yeah, that's what, what do we? What's the bet? What's the bet, Punk? I kind of like watching you eat tacos. No, 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 no. I'm not. I, we are not doing tacos. <laughs> Punk can't have another <laughs> night of <laughs> writhing pain and throwing up. All I wanted, to, I, I just want you to know that I was vomiting the entire night. So let's oh just. Oh my god, I'm done. Let's just not. <laughs> there was a lot of beer in that taco. Yeah, yeah. there was a lot of beer. Okay, uh, let's desecrate some other type of cuisine. I'm sure you love Italian food. You seem like a guy that likes Italian food. You have to go to no, like Fazoli's or something. We're not, you got to come up with something original. I'm not some <laughs> hipster <laughs> copycat. Like, ooh, whatever. You, if you don't come up with something clever, then I'm not doing it. Let's move oh. on. Oh, oh, wow. You're just going to immediately say, say that. Okay. I think okay. there could be more discussion throughout the week. Maybe there, we is. We got there is. We finalize this bet next week, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take you up on the bet. All right. Bye. So then the bet is that an alpha, a PS4 exclusive alpha, is dropping on May 18th after the review. That's right. You think May 18th, right. though, for real? That's uh, right. Yeah, I can see him. Uh, like my weekend? guess is they announced the. I'm going to say a week date, or two later. On May 18th, maybe. Like they announced when it's going to happen. And, but they don't say dick about an alpha until they're on the stage at E3 on, on the PlayStation account. He's just going to do a legit just mic drop, you know, the <laughs> second he's going to go May 18th and he's just going to go boom, alpha. Sign don't you in. Think they want to do that. Hope. Don't you think they want to do that on the stage at E3 though? They're gonna do the beta, dude. The beta. Do you the think beta is he E3. thinks they're gonna do? He thinks he's gonna do the beta E3. They're, they're gonna do. They're you gonna think, do the alpha on May May 18th. That's what you that's think right. the beta is gonna go live during E3? That's right. I just don't see that happening. You if it goes live, that's gonna be some chaos. No vision. Dude. You have no vision. You don't understand the man I've been fighting against for years now <laughs> i'm in his head i'm in his head man i know how he thinks <laughs> what i don't know We're he like seems this. to stymie you at every opportunity no, he gets no 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 we got this <laughs> i see inside of his head we are we are one in the same i got that man figured out you never know. left the shonies pope you never left the shonies in his head <laughs> yeah. people will, some people will get that reference i would actually <laughs> like that if they did drop the the alpha on may 18th and drop the beta the problem with that, though, the biggest problem with that is there will be so long for us to have to play Destiny after having played Destiny 2. Yeah, but you'll be able to capture probably like 48 to 72 hours worth of footage. <laughs> but I'll never actually have to play Destiny. Continual time to not sleep. <laughs> yeah. Just keep uh, uh, footage on, on YouTube. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna call me uh, a, a genius. I I I. You know well, what? I'll take whatever challenge you want, well, Patrick. But if I win. You're going to have to live on the podcast say that Pope is the smartest man you have ever met in your entire life. Oh, God. Yeah. I can agree to this. <laughs> you got to say, say it like you mean it. Like you mean it. <laughs> and you, you got to end it with like yeah, squeezing your nipple hard. <laughs> we won't Damn. get sexual with it, but I, I will make it abundantly oh, clear sexual. that that whatever you just said, uh, I'll, I'll make sure to say it. I will what say it. What do you think, it. Broski? Do you think it's I mean, going to come? What, what do you got? What do you got for a schedule in your head? Okay, okay. If it's not going to be May 18th, let's just be honest there. I mean, the so alpha is not going to come the same right day as thing. Like, I want to say maybe the 30th at, at the at the at the at the earliest for an alpha. May the 30th, or maybe the 23rd. Or May 30th. Do an alpha? I don't. I mean, I don't see. I don't see. The, I don't see them dropping something on May and I'm trying to mill E3 again. Let's hope not. So, um, <laughs> let's let's. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I just don't. Know. I'm, I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say like mid mid July for the beta, mid July for the beta. Okay. I hope Pope's not going to go get another beer because guy <laughs> can barely handle the 
the he didn't even the, those weren't even like I never want to hear those words about like little mini beers, man. I don't even he was beers. drinking. Oh, yeah, he's drinking. Go get another beer out of your mouth ever again. <laughs> no, he, no, he should not go get another beer. He's had too many Coronas and he's wasted. Minis. Good God, <laughs> no, I, I, I gotta sorry. say, guys, I gotta say, I the, when E three first happened and Destiny two was announced. They had to have yep. the momentum to push it because it was a brand new title. That's I fun. feel like at this point, it's kind of beyond like E3 need to push mm-hmm. Destiny, you know? Oh, yeah. It's You're right. It's yeah. eclipsed that at this point of like people know what Destiny is, you know? Yeah. And they're expecting yep. the, the sequel. So they could technically. I, I mean, E3 break, though, is the mainstream press. Yeah. But here's the thing. They're doing a gameplay reveal a month before E3. Usually you save yeah. gameplay for E3. Play for E3. Yeah. But they don't really need it, though. I mean, there's so many people already know about it, and if they don't know about it, I don't know. You've got me living on a rock or something, I but, guess. But Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, it has to be. They, they could definitely be like, all right, boom, there's the gameplay. Guess what? Here's when you get to play it this month yeah. right now. And then, yeah, everybody and then PC and Xbox gets to play it in the summer on, like like you said, July or something. Yeah. So your, your PS4 exclusive alpha in May? I, I'm, a, I could, I could see maybe <laughs> end, of, end of May, like I said, that, that Tuesday or like something like that. Like I could see like the end of May, I, maybe, maybe like the first. Of the June, if they do an, if they do an alpha, I, I don't want to say May because I don't want to be heartbroken. You know, that's why I'm not <laughs> saying it's gonna be. Other, I don't want to. I mean, I personally don't want to be heartbroken at the end of May. You know. You guys are a bunch of. I put said your, May. I put said your, May. Put your, Put your name on it. Put your name on it. Give me a date. Give me a date. Okay. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with May 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 thirtieth. I'm just gonna go with okay. it. All right. All right. May thirtieth. Pope, Pope, what I was saying what I was saying is that they don't need the help of E3 anymore, and it would make sense that they would actually drop something after the gameplay reveal, because yeah. they people know people know a destiny. Right. You know. So, so we hear your cool. logic now. Give me a date. At least a week Tef- later. Tef- Tef- Mister Teft of the Tefts. When it, hold on, when is the 18th? Is it uh, All right. a Thursday? Who's else got a date? It's a I'm Thursday. It's a Thursday. It's a, that's why I said, I said a Tuesday. Out. I said a week after, pretty much, the 30th. That, that would be dope. It's a Thursday. If they, drop it, if they dropped it on the 18th, like Pope's saying, and then they they have the beta open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then close it on Monday. I mean, Guys, yeah, it's a Thursday. That could be, right. That'd be okay, too. Yeah, hold Thursday, up. Friday. Yeah. That'd, that'd be on the 25th, then, probably. But, Co- well, let's say the 18th. Conspiracy, I'm say conspiracy theory. I'm saying a week after, at least. Though. Conspiracy. May 18th is a Thursday. They announce it. They drop the alpha on the 19th, which is a Friday. Friday lines up with their release date of when they're actually launching this thing. I mean, I mean conspiracy you guys, theory. I, when, I, when, I, when I say the 18th, I don't May 19th. Mean that second. I mean, the next. Oh, May 19th. come on. Like, you can't. You're doing a prices right me right now. I said, <laughs> what do you think? We're doing? What are we playing right now? <laughs> Come on. That, that that car is that car is three thousand three hundred and three. No, it's two dollars more. May nineteenth. It's a legitimate strategy, Pope. Yeah, man, it's not. It's 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 it's. Uh, You're just mad because you didn't yeah. think about that first. <laughs> yeah, because that means the All right. bet that so we have. So I don't know. I don't know that there's going to be an alpha. To be honest with you, I mean, I hope there's an alpha. I want there to be an alpha, but. You know, that's two vertical slices that Bungie's got to prepare. Yeah, yeah, for while sure. While they're trying but to push out the game. It'll also get, like, everybody ready for the beta on all consoles. They'd have the PS4, PS4 exclusive alpha that'll, you yeah. know, tr- kind of, like, prime the server up. Makes and Sony Because it's going to be crazy when it, when all three things are going at once. True. Like, there's going to be, yeah. like, well, I can only imagine a, another damn Q. Beta, like, I don't want another Q, though. We already know the slow roll in the beta because yeah. the, the pre-order guys are going to get it first. Then it's going to yeah. open it up publicly. So, they are going to slow roll the beta. Yeah, well, the, the beta, but I'm talking about they do an alpha, though. Like, maybe it makes sense to do a right, PS4. They, they haven't even said shit about an alpha. That's all yeah, speculation. Yeah, if they do, yeah, if they do do one, for sure. This is. But the reason why is because the beta is going to be open to all platforms, and they do have this exclusivity with PSN. So, but if it's open for a few days longer on PlayStation? Oh, that's a possibility, The beta. That's maybe, true. yeah, I can see that, too. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Yeah, also, okay. you might spend the entire weekend downloading that thing because PSN servers are trash. So. Oh point. yeah, you I'm literally sat there like. He <laughs> <laughs> was literally, it, it might, dude, like literally the smallest update today took like twenty years. So and it finally got done. <laughs> so I can only imagine downloading the whole beta. For God's sakes, we'll be there all weekend just waiting all for right. it to download. You guys are a bunch of uh, uh, you know naysayers. Hey, I and said May nineteenth. Sissy, sissy pops. Okay, fine. May nineteenth. All right, Briar, what do you got? All right, here's my bet. No so alpha. There's no alpha. 
No so you're alpha. out of this bet altogether. I mean, that's my guess. No alpha. So part if there is an alpha, you two. lose immediately. Yeah. Yeah, there's no All consolation right. prize. All right, Patrick. I mean, if you guys get the wrong date, you lose immediately too. Nah, you get um, you were in the you were in, you know, you were you were partying. Uh, so are we discussing <laughs> the, are we discussing the date for the alpha? <laughs> For the alpha. For the no, have you been, uh, no alpha. not been beta only. not official. No, no alpha. You're, no alpha. You're, beta only. Oh, okay. Alpha. So there's a camp that's right. being formed. Okay. I see. I, I feel like I feel like there's going to be two betas though. That that like is my is. guess. Uh, I know. It's, can it's, they call it two beta? What? A beta. Yeah, what? Every what? game that has come out has oh, Overwatch had multiple multiple betas. Uh, well, For Honor had multiple betas. They got closed betas. Yeah, yeah but can you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a Freaking still, pig. Yeah. Right. Still alpha. They, they called it an alpha in Destiny 1. It was mm -hmm. called an alpha in Destiny 1. It's got to be called an alpha. Yeah. All if right. you are to win this bet. Either way, either right. way it goes. If they, call it, no, if they call it a beta and then have another beta afterwards, I'm calling the first one an alpha. Yeah. No, sorry. No. No. Yeah. No. I don't care what they call it. I don't care. What I don't know how it. they do shit down in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> Right, as guys, a, as guys... a lifetime resident of Seattle, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like Briar's a, a lifetime warlock. Yeah, you mm -hmm. guys are a bunch of <laughs> carpet bagging. Yeah, I'm just over here. I've, oh, I've been joining. Oh, uh, I'm about this I weather, do. this rain. I've been I've been joining Briar's uh, bandwagon. Also, being a lifetime Bear warlock. Back. What Titan life, bro? What's up, man? What up? Titan? Thank you, bro. It yeah, is man. not. It is not a um, a coincidence that the guests recently have all been Titan mains. Yeah, just I mean, so you I'm, know, Titans are just OP, man. I mean, what do you need? No, to do I need I need to have the Titan brother support. It's been lost on the podcast. <laughs> all right, do you guys want to talk about the Thwab? Let's do really. anything. The only interesting thing in there is Tefty's big news. Well, uh, let's talk about it, man. Hey, Tefty, yeah, dude, let's talk about it. Well, nah, looks I like... want to talk about Tefty's big news. I just don't want to talk about the rest of the Thwab. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm going to be hunted down and uh, and respectfully squatted on top of in uh, in I'm Xbox. Coming. I'm coming for you. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming. I'm Bunny coming. Bounty? Teabagging all day. Yeah, dude, I'm coming for you. Bring the respect. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a And if you do host, match bro. up, I expect you to throw that match. Oh, Daffy. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I could briefly comment, I actually didn't have a single teabag. No one teabagged me awesome. Awesome. during my bounty. Not a oh, single person. Wow! Which because you're doing a because you're doing a charity stream. And I, I guess. Guess. Good charity I stream guess. though. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got to make sure that tradition doesn't continue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the charity streams or the tea bagging? <laughs> the tea bag. Oh. No, the no okay. tea bagging. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I have officially I'm I'm taking goth standpoint. I'm officially calling it respect Neils from this point on. Whenever whenever somebody respect yeah, Neils on top of me, be like thank you for the respect. Appreciate that. I'm gonna slap a bag of Earl Grey right on that forehead, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't you don't play me. Xbox? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna get an Xbox just so I can use my Cali host to 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 form yeah, the God I mean, we're squad. Yeah, no, I will I will pay you a hundred dollars for your host. Is that, <laughs> is that how people do it? How people I, do I it, guess right? so. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Gotta sell, sell my host. So uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be this Saturday, uh, the twenty second at two p.m. Pacific time, and once again, California host clash. And I'm going to be on Xbox as well because Xbox needs the love. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yep. Yeah, for sure. They get it. They get everything. They get, they, never mind. You guys want to <laughs> do some Twitter questions? No, I want to do the thwab, and we still got stuff it. to talk that about. No, that's not. We got, it. We, got, we got to talk about me not getting stuck in trials for ninety years. Yeah, that's true. They fix that. Well, you want to talk about the update, not the twab. Yeah, it's yeah. in the twab. <laughs> it was before the twab, <laughs> but it's in the twab. It's in there though. Yeah, I mean, but it was before the there. twab. Is it? I can't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it, Pope? Stuff. Stuff about the. Uh, yeah. So apparently, um, there's been some fixes to some things that have were that were that were troubling people. Apparently, yeah. if you were in trials and you're a warlock and you, su you know, warlock screwing things up for everybody again. Yeah, all the so time. They, you know, more specifically, they fixed an issue where the elimination round timer was stopping indefinitely when a guardian yep. was killed immediately after being revived in high latency matches. Yeah. So this wasn't necessarily something people were doing on purpose, although some people were. No. It oh, could happen randomly as well. Yeah. 
It was it was sad days, man. I got stuck in three matches for yawns. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was bad. That would be awful. It was bad. Yeah, dude. Uh, send messages back and forth. Like, oh, I just, I just, I did the first time I stayed in there an hour plus. The next two times, I just backed out. I said, like, I ain't dealing with it. Yeah. I can't even deal with it, man. It just, it just broke the whole game. I didn't even play trials the last two weeks, and I love trials. Didn't even play it. I just didn't even touch it. Uh, I got stuck the first crucible, week, stuck in they also fixed an issue where some flawless trials of Osiris runs prior to the Rise of Iron release. <laughs> We're not being counted in the record book. So if you're one of those people that's been fixed, I'm sure you're appreciative. Because <laughs> that shit ain't easy anymore. And there's also a really cool movie of the week, which I thought was fun to watch. A, a brother... we're, it's, 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 we're talking about the movie of the week. All right. There which... were a couple other things in the hot fix that I want to talk about. They fixed uh, an issue when viewing characters on Bungie.net or in third-party tools. That could cause some record book objectives to change state incorrectly, often resulting in notification. I am sure that everybody here has had that notification popping up for the last four weeks constantly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. I don't know what you're yeah. talking yeah. about, Briar. I have no idea what you're talking no, about. No. I don't, I, we, I don't. You are a liar, sir. <laughs> I don't records. Know. No, I'm just, I'm just hitting that many records. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I'm a go-getter, man. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> records at a time. I, I love the constant positive feedback that yeah. I'm getting. You know, like, hey. <laughs> they also fixed the crash when responding with Knuckles of EO active. So yeah. it, hopefully that fixes the Vault of Glass bug where the game would crash when you, you were using Knuckles of EO in Vault of Glass. Yeah. Is it EO or AO? Some... It's AO, but you know what, uh, Briar? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would genuinely like to know if that is different. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Yeah. Atheon, Atheon, you know? John and it's ew. <laughs> How about ew? Ew. ew? Bones of ew. ew. Knuckles ew. of ew. ew. <laughs> uh, you want to talk about the movie of the week, Pope? Yeah, because it's uh, the first, or I don't know, there's always that like internet, you know, question mark of who did it first. Uh -huh. But there is a solo one sword of 390 Crota. Is he, which is he I did it first? What, you know, he says he's the first, and, you know, who knows? He might be oh. the first. But there might have been other people that did it first. But I still think it's cool to see a Titan do what Titans do best, carry a raid, even if they have to do it <laughs> by themselves. Thank you very much. That. They used to be what Thank some you. singers did. Yeah, yeah but we, we know we know we've risen to the top. And, um, to the <laughs> uh, and so anyway, there's a really cool video of a Titan with a weapons bubble, Galahorn, and um, a pretty cool, you know, strategy of one sorting Crota. It's got to be done right, but it can be done, and it was fun to watch. He's one sorting Crota. One sorting Crota. Wow. By yeah, himself. Yeah. Solo. Wow. I have to watch that. By himself, man. I'm not kidding. That's you. impressive. This is the fun. That's, yep. That's the I impressive need to watch part. It, yeah. It's got it. He's got to get him be some finger gymnastics right there. Well, and here's the thing: the oversoul comes up, right? Uh -huh. And every oversoul that comes up wipes out the first oversoul, right? So he's got one sword to do it in, right? He's got to get him uh, aggroed in the in the second. He's got to get him enraged by the second um, um, damage right. phase, right? Yeah. Yep. And so he's got three damage phases he can do it in. He's got to get him enraged by the second, and so. Um, He's just like he's setting up the weapons bubble. He's shooting the Galahorn, and every time there is a do damage phase, it sets it resets the Oversoul. So that's how he doesn't get wiped. Okay. And as soon as it's enraged, he gets the third, he gets the third uh, Oversoul, okay. and he kills him. So yeah, then, yeah, what, he, what I can't wait to see is how he actually manages to down him in that amount of time. Because that was always my problem when trying to yeah do it. So I'll so watch that video. He's using a Titan bubble with uh, yeah. um with a grenade that's the um grenade in one rocket it's he's using a, a galahorn but he's using that grenade that show that that sh has he's a used the light out it's the it's spike the grenade. Uh, what is that spike. It's, grenade. It's, it's a spike grenade so he throws spike a spike grenade. grenade against the wall so and he he steps out he shoots a galahorn rocket at him and the spike grenade finishes putting him down Oh, nice. As he's running at him, it's all perfectly timed, and it's just... Does, it have to, does he have to be, like, standing in the correct spot? Crota has to be standing in the correct spot to get that spike grenade to work? No, it's spike grenade is stupid. Yeah. Spike, <laughs> grenade is stupid. <laughs> spike grenades, you got, like, yeah, dude, they're, like, they got the hugest, like, band yeah, ever. It's ridiculous. How good it is. All right, really... let's do some Twitter questions, because we're going to run out of time. All right, so we won't talk about the rest of the flop, but it's it's There's still... 
There, there is. Something. There is stuff. They said the Destiny 2 gameplay is coming May 18th. We all know it. Oh, shit. May 18th. May 18th. Also, <laughs> maybe an alpha on the 19th. Possibly. Also, there was kind of a 420 reference. That was kind of cute. Thank you. So everybody, all, right, all those crack smokers out there, do the 420 thing. I don't think it's crack that they're smoking. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> it's not, it's, it's not, 420 is not a crack smoking. Briar's thing. old. They call oh, everything crack. Oh. <laughs> it's like how every game console is a Nintendo and then every soda uh, is a Coke or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm playing all drugs too on the Nintendo. Okay, just give him a Pepsi. Okay, everybody. <laughs> let's, do, let's do some let's kids do some your Ataris. Q, Q and A's. All right, Dr. Buju's got the first question. How would you feel if Bungie took a more Skyrim style approach to quests in Destiny 2? Uh, so it, it that requires it's kind of an like, open ended question. That's yeah, a very open very, question. Very exactly. Open. To have to have Skyrim style quests, you need a Skyrim style world. More importantly, which would be dope, but right. I don't think it's going to happen. It'd be dope. It would be dope, but I, I just don't see Destiny two being being that. You know, you know that big anyway. But we'll see though. I yeah, I don't think it's going to be Skyrim sized, but at the same time, the quest. Uh, they, you know, the the rumor is that they're gonna have these towns and outposts and quest givers out mm-hmm. there. So it would be really cool to show up to somewhere in old Russia or you know Chicago or something like that and get a quest to go hunt down pieces for an exotic. Oh yeah, like it'd that. be cool. Yeah, it'd be awesome. But I, just, or, I just you know, what if you went big. to one outpost, you got a quest, and it was open ended? It's either all right, you can either uh, come and join us with the future war cult. Or by like going out and rescuing this dude that you find it out in patrol, or like another guy from New Monarch, he says, you know, he finds you on the way to the quest, and he says, wait a minute, before you save that guy, New Monarchy, you know, we, we'd be willing to pay you five thousand glimmer if you just off that guy, you know, like stuff like that, and then like all of a sudden you're I'm glimmer choices. capped. I'll just I'm, I'm glimmer capped. I'll just do it to <laughs> you know do it. Yeah. <laughs> <For lulls. laughs> Eh, you, know. you know, and then you you go out and you find that guy, and he makes a case for why he should live. At this point, I'm just going to kill everyone. On, at, at, at this point, I'm just going to kill every single party involved because I'm tired of them giving me the runaround. What I'm trying to say, though, Patrick, <laughs> it's, instead of just you know these quests that you go here, get some text, you know, and then you get you know a legendary reward. What if they were like story motivated quests with some decision making in them? So you had a you had a greater uh, investment into your character and into the story. You know, they don't have to, it doesn't have to be like a Mass Effect style thing where, you know, your decisions directly relate to how the story plays out on a massive scale. So, but you know in your head how how it went down. So, for you. Borderlands wait, wait, 2 uh, did it something like that. And what they were able to achieve was allow you to get two types of rewards. So, you do your first playthrough, you can get a type of weapon if you do this set of things or the other person's like well screw that guy if you come over here and give that to me then i'll give you this weapon and that was actually really mm-hmm. cool so you can get different weapons in the in the playthroughs like that i would go for it pope yeah no no i would I, I i was only gonna try to include watts into this conversation i know she's home sick so i'm gonna do my best watts uh, i would love to see the oh, best right. of Stop. Stop. besides <laughs> these guys have cool armor <laughs> The horrible oh, humor God. of Pope Bear does not reflect the feelings, <laughs> the views, and the feelings <laughs> of the every, podcast. The feelings <laughs> of every oh, other yeah, human dude. being on Earth. Oh, yes. oh my God! Look, if somebody's offended by that, then then they need to relax. Watts, it's Watts. only Watts is being offended that I'm, I'm worried about. <laughs> she would never be offended by that. I know uh, her too well. Okay, so I will say, if they were to get that quest a level deep with Destiny Two in the story. I would love it. I think it would be phenomenal. Uh, but yeah. I actually recently played, uh, if you go on the playlist for the, the story mode, they you get the first Taken King mission again. And it's great mm-hmm. replaying that and seeing how far they came. Because that actually sets up a lot of mood. It sets up a lot of storytelling right there when you go, you know. Like, oh, yeah. That's the one where you go to Phobos? Yeah, you go to Phobos uh, and everything's yeah. falling apart. It's amazing. Yeah, you get you get yeah. your first glimpse of Oryx too, the shade and all that. Like, it's a, yeah. it's a really well done story piece that, Makes me excited for Destiny Two because I think they're going to have the tools put in place to actually tell some legit stories. And if they do, I hope they. I hope they. Yeah, do, for sure. And if if they do happen to incorporate it into a sizable world where you could potentially go trigger quests from these towns and outposts, and then have these scripted things happen that are interesting, man, I would. I'd personally love that. Don't know if it's going to happen, but 
I mean, all right, all next of it question. sounds cool. So. <laughs> yeah, all, all of it does sound cool. cool. We have no idea what's going to happen in Destiny 2. We just got to wait and see. I tried. I'm going to be honest with you, too, is like all of the people who ask questions like, what do you think about this happening in Destiny 2? I really do weed those questions out because there's really we have no information to go it's on. It's hard. Uh, Dark Gandhi says, given the recent statement by a Microsoft exec comparing Destiny 2 to WoW and sub- sub- subsequently its lifespan, how will this affect the player base? So uh, last week, um, I forgot his name. Can anybody help me out with his name? No. Basically, yeah, the head of the uh, the head of Xbox division at Microsoft. Basically, Phil, Phil Spector. Phil, yeah. Phil Spencer. 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 Yes. Spencer. We'll go with Spencer. Phil Spector, the music producer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he actually you know he said uh, you know I played 600 hours of Destiny I'm a big fan and he compared it to Wow how he doesn't think it's gonna be you know like a a small game he thinks it'll go on for 10 years or probably more based on how many players which we kind of already knew as Destiny fans we've always known that there was at least a 10 year plan for this game yeah, yeah. with Destiny two getting delayed it's probably been extended yeah uh, what do you guys think how does that affect the player base do you think it Mm, does I think it's gonna strengthen? So, I mean, look at look at WoW. I mean, but I just don't think it's gonna be as long as like a WoW game or something like that. Just because like you know, eventually there's be new, there's be a new you know a brand brand new you know a, a Xbox whatever, and then a PS whatever. I don't think it'll go ten years. Um, Are you talking like Destiny see, Two itself? Or do you, I, yeah, I can see I Destiny. Think I can see Destiny. Destiny as a series. As a series, yeah, oh yeah, so like Destiny's Destiny a series Destiny definitely going to go on for sure. Yeah. I definitely think Destiny Two is going to be going to be a longer game than Destiny One was probably though. Like time wise, you think it'll go? I, long I think it might. I think it might be. I may be like a four a four year game. I think it might go until until the next until the next systems come out, whatever that may be. Obviously. So WoW's player base is kind of an interesting thing because is it, it, it kind of it fluctuates? It fluctuates yeah. heavily. <laughs> yeah, heavily. Uh, yeah. So much restraint, the, Briar. So much restraint. <laughs> what? Both whatever. Briar and I had the like a, a, a I'm sure equally witty and. Come, you know, comment to make, but we chose to hold it within. Mm, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Could, uh, I'd like to hear about the, the population. Continue, continue about the, the wow, population. Uh, wow population. Yes, tell wow us more about how interesting it is. Yes, and how interesting <laughs> they are. Oh, God, guys are being dicks about it. I'm not going to tell. I'm you genuinely interested in this. in this game. I'd like to know no, how no, we, po- the I population is fluctuated. Yeah, I, I can see it being similar to what happened when WoW had its first expansion, uh, where. After three years, about about three years for Vanilla WoW, Burning Crusade came out and the population exploded. And yep. basically we just saw a steady increase with slight declines in between large content updates. Uh, and then eventually when Ra- um, uh, the third expansion, sorry, uh, uh, Wrath of the Lich King uh, came out uh, again, it exploded. And then after that, it started to kind of peter off and slowly go down. The only time it would spike would be for the first month after a new expansion came out, and then slight bumps after content. The like, difference so. there is that you're still playing. I mean, even though there's been expansions and they've added to that game greatly, it's still World of Warcraft. It's not World of Warcraft Two, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can, I, yeah, Basically. definitely. Hmm. The uh, the game has changed significantly over time, though. So incrementally like, not, over time, though. Like, yeah, you're not. You they've never had a sequel like a. Boosh, can you can you yeah. start off World of Warcraft and play the World of Warcraft that you played ten years no. ago? Vanilla no. is dead. They had a server going for a while. Yeah, they, they never had any. They never had any official server. Blizzard all, did. Yeah, it, players did. Uh, you can still do that. There are some private servers out there. I don't know how to find them. Google it. Uh, where you can go play Vanilla WoW as it was before Burning Crusade patch came out. You can play in be that like trying era. to play Vanilla Destiny and be really it, hard to achieve. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you want to go play Vanilla Destiny now, you have to go play X on like Xbox 360 or PS. Yeah, even there, yeah, yeah. and it's That's not even that. King, yeah, it it is it is kind of an interesting discussion though. How you can't? There's a lot of games that come out that just evolve so much, and you can't play them as they were. You know, like, do you think that's what happened to Destiny to go to the conversation that they must have had? Should oh, yeah. we continue with Destiny One or create a new, completely different game? Oh yeah. I mean that that had to be there had to be some discussions where we continue the narrative, we continue Destiny One in the same game, or should we start over? That they must have had I'm sure. this conversation. I, I mean, it's kind of obvious that once people once the game was out in the wild, people started playing it. 
people played it in vastly different ways than they originally right. thought they were going to. Uh, so, I mean, what better way to kind of say, hey, here's this new Destiny, Destiny 2, that is, you know, everything that we've learned, basically. Yeah. I, yeah. I also think that yeah. they... They had to have approached Destiny with that, like, let's see what happens with this with this game type of attitude mm-hmm. because they were putting it on on 360 and PS3, and they knew that those architectures were going to hold them back and mm-hmm. and create problems. And uh, and so that I'm sure that when they were making D1 or Destiny One, I should say, they already anticipated Destiny Two being on a on a, a new platform. In my opinion, because of having to deal with the oh, last Destiny gen Two. And gen. I mean the. PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, you know, whatever that's going to be called, they're not that far away. But I don't right? I don't think those they're not, they're not the same type of thing far, though. They're like it's a it's a PC architecture at this point and it, and it's also yeah. going to be on PC now as well. So there's that to consider. Yeah. So three platforms now instead of four platforms and they're all going to share similar architectures. In particular though has made it very clear that there will be a PlayStation 5. And it while Xbox seems to be going down the path of, you know, incremental updates to the hardware, PlayStation has made it very clear that there will be a PlayStation 5. They are going to, you know, they, they've done the pro. Like, whether or not there will be backward compatibility with PlayStation 5 to PlayStation 4 is you unknown. Hope so. I mean, you would hope so. I mean, yeah. the, the tools are definitely there for them now that they're yeah. on a, you know, X286. I mean, yeah, it would sure. be, on a, I definitely hope. It would be incredibly backwards, though, if they went to some other architecture, though, like some IBM architecture and went back to something like that. And, and drop the x86 architecture or like the, the PC standard essentially. Right, right. I know, but I'm just saying it's like it may be that PlayStation 4 titles are not compatible with PlayStation 5. You know, it may be that. Right. That could happen. But it's not going to be the same issue as the, the PS3, I think, was risk. Is that so wildly different? Yeah, the PS3 was based on, yeah. on a risk chip, which was exceptionally <laughs> yeah. difficult to program on. And right. yeah, PS4 that's... is on essentially a PSC, uh, a PC. So yeah. those yeah. leaps from from those architectures aren't going to have the same problems as like the, the as Destiny One had, essentially vanilla. How much? Uh, how much do you think programming for the operating system on PS4 on Xbox? You know, on PC, how much? A, difference does that make well i think that would take uh some intense knowledge of the actual operating system and how it's and how it's programmed Pope Bear? i don't think i don't think any of Pope us got that knowledge. Know. i know it does. <laughs> yeah, um, i i uh i abstain is that under NDA? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't know any of right. this stuff i mean you, you get to the point where i know i know where my lane is my lane's like all about community stuff and what it feels like to play the game. And, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to say, you know, making games is hard. Okay. And it's, it's, it's important to acknowledge that. But I also know that they're, that these guys push themselves so freaking hard to get every last, last ounce of, of ability out of these consoles. Oh yeah, for sure. Which is why I'm excited to see if there's going to be a conversation and this might be another bird walk, but it's something interesting to talk about. Are we going to be in a position where PC players who are normally used to seeing the progress of their game that they play, uh, be further along? Are they going to feel like they're being held back by consoles, uh, rigidity or, what do you or mean by design further specs? Along? Well, I think that I see, um, when I see like graphically a, a, or no, 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 let me explain. When I see a successful PC game, like for example, Skyrim, right? Yeah. What makes it successful on a PC is it's a game like destiny. That's on PC is the modding community, right? Yeah. There's mm-hmm. not going to be a modding some community, of them, oh, but there's other like, like H one Z one or DayZ that are unfinished games and remain unfinished forever. And they're a still long time. as popular as hell. Oh yeah, yeah. H one Z one's crazy big. Look at Underground too right now. It's blowing up like crazy. But, yeah, underground. But my but my, but my know, point is, in a game like Destiny, Destiny, I think it's more forgiving to you know buying stuff that is unfinished and hoping that it gets finished. I mean, so I mean, by those games, by those game standards for sure. Then H one Z one, Underground, other games like that for sure. I, mean, I can see that. But also PC, some people, PC gamers are very strict about having stuff done and getting stuff out as soon as possible too, though. So there actually there is a case of this. Uh, Planet Side 2 was originally developed for the PC. Uh, and for about two, three years, it had just, it was only on PC. 
And then when Sony, when it was still owned by Sony Online Entertainment, they decided they're going to start developing the game for the PS4. It was supposed to be a PS4 launch title, which it yeah. ended up happening like after a year and a half or two years. Um, uh, what they ended up doing is developing the game for PS4, and then all changes to the game were made on the console. So this is a type of thing that has to. So be they done. stopped supporting the PC version. No, no, they still supported it, but basically a lot of the changes, like they changed how flight controls work to be. Oh well, that makes sense because you you got a totally different input method. Yeah, well, well, yeah, they changed how flight controls work, but they changed it on the PC as well. So people that had been oh. like dogfighting for you know three years that were insanely good at it suddenly basically had to kind of relearn Learn, how yeah. to do it, and with like worse controls. This is That's basically. Fucked. That's this bad. is basically yeah, what that's, that would suck. Yeah, yeah it's like basically what what does the developer want to do? Since Bungie has always kind of been a console, well, not always, but mainly been consoles mainly, for the yeah. past like what 12, 15 yeah, years. Yeah, for a while, for a while yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, they know console gaming. They, they clearly they know how to make a good FPS game uh, on a console. So I imagine uh, they're also smart enough to know that you know you need to. You need to build the game differently on PC, and any changes done to sandboxes has to be done kind of like Overwatch was, where if you're going to have a game supported on both, you know, a console and PC, changes need to happen to the sandboxes on different ones, and then also you need to have the proper control support for both PC and console. Which, unfortunately, Overwatch, I still don't think they've done aim assist right. It's 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 one yeah from I, last I, I really it. prefer that game with a uh, mouse and keyboard yeah. i don't really like playing yeah, it yeah. With a controller yeah it's weird with a controller for sure i agree yeah. it's it's mostly due to like the uh uh look acceleration yeah. and then aim assist in association with it it's just it's it's off it on the field right. watch yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you can get used to it i think it's hard though switching from destiny exactly because yeah. De- destiny, oh yeah yeah Destiny was built just for a console, so they put all the effort yeah. into making sure the input device is going to, you know. It's also feel got good. that bungee feel. Like that bungee feel is, it it, it is noticeable. Yep. Uh, Leonardo DiTrapio says, "Favorite coffee brand and car." Oh man, <laughs> uh, Stumptown Stumptown Coffee uh, out of uh, Portland, uh, Oregon. It's uh, phenomenal. It's I fell in love with it. It's great. And uh, favorite car is the uh, BMW M3. Oh, come on, man! Uh, Taking my new car. ones or old ones? Um, I like I like the older style. That right can around be, 2000. Yeah, that's yeah, a good, a good body really style, nice man. Those yeah. are beautiful. I like I like the feel of them. I'm a small guy, so I don't need a big car, but I don't like how they've gotten bigger. So yeah, they did. Uh, they have gotten bigger. I'm gonna go with um, Noble Coffee from Ashland, Oregon. Very, very delicious. Uh, and if, if I were to pick a car, I f- like right now, like one of those Teslas would be awesome. I feel like those Teslas. Dude, those are Teslas cool. are yeah. nice for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good choice. I would yeah. very much like one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you it's gluten free. Absolutely. For made by gluten free people. For <laughs> for coffee. Get yourself a nice uh, cup of community brand coffee. I specifically prefer the dark roast, but the breakfast blend is also Are they wonderful. Oh, yeah, Am I getting a check for that? I, I, I fucking wish. <laughs> hey, community <laughs> coffee. I have been asking you guys to sponsor me for about a year now, and you should get on it. Why I should love they if you're willing to do it for free? <laughs> yeah, you're doing it right now. Oh, man, because now man. I can't promote their coffee because I live in Seattle, and I'd have to actually order it through Amazon, and I'm too lazy to order something through Amazon. I don't that's know. That's pretty lazy. That, that's lazy. I don't know what that says about me. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty lazy. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that is, yeah, it's pretty bad. For, for, get uh, a favorite, favorite coffee and coffee. I didn't oh, get to see my yeah, car. Jesus Christ. Oh, Volkswagen <laughs> GTI. Volkswagen <laughs> GTI. Volkswagen GTI. You must have done it at some point. <laughs> Broskin, you got a favorite coffee? Oh uh, yeah, I like, I like I like um, I like nine Zoli uh, coffee. It's really good. So what is it? Nat- nine Zoli? Yeah, it's Zoli. Uh, Zoli coffee. It's here in Nashville, actually. So it's a local brand. Um, Zoli coffee is really really good. Uh, also, I mean, I got to go with Pope Man, the M three man. M threes are just this. M threes are man. Some, something about they're it, nice. man. That the feel of them when you drive them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they're they're nice. They're nice cars. That's for sure. Uh, I like the closest uh, coffee to me. That's my favorite. 
<laughs> the closest whatever, one. Whatever is right here, preferably ice. Don't even care. Have it. <laughs> um, actually, Leonard, Leonardo says Pastello, and that's a pretty damn good uh, Keurig capable coffee. So I do like those too. And I gotta go with Tefty, man. I really like those uh, Teslas. Those are pretty sweet. Teslas are nice though, for sure. Yeah. Although Jeep, I really like Wranglers too. Might be if I bought a car today, it'd be a Wrangler. I, w- I would love to have a project car of like a Jeep uh, CJ7. It's like yeah, the the, the old cool. the old school uh, Jeeps that you can go off roading with them and just work on it and kind of build it up, put in a lift kit and make it nice. make it off road capable. I'd project. love to do that. Yeah, Volk- Volkswagen uh, Golf GTI is one of my favorite cars. It's a like, fun car. I really like those too. But I could probably never own a Volkswagen. They seem to require a lot of proper upkeep, and I am. Just, um, no, aren't they expensive <laughs> too to upkeep? Uh, yeah. th- German cars in general are kind of expensive to upkeep here in the states. The part, but the only bad thing, the good thing about those kind of German cars is the parts last like twice as long as American <laughs> air cars. Swear to you, like Fords and like and Chevy and stuff like that. Like, like I've, I've known people that had like you know those. Plus, I had a roommate who had a that German he cars would not last share this opinion. <laughs> <laughs> he had a I, Corrado that was on blocks like half the time he lived. Oh there. my <laughs> god. <laughs> Evan Meyer said, if Bungie decides to add raid matchmaking as an option in Destiny 2, do you think there should be requirements to use it or unlock it? Uh, Actually, that. (laughs) No, I think that's actually a good thing. Like, I mean, if somebody beat the, I mean, maybe if you beat the raid before, you get access to matchmaking. I don't know. I just think is, do you think there should be a requirement to use it? Requirement to use it. I mean, maybe beating the raid requirement. I don't know. Yeah. That's about the only thing I can think of. Like, maybe if you beat the raid before, you have the requirement to unlock that raid for matchmaking for that raid only, though. Yeah, I, honestly, I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, if there was a thing that says... You don't think that a requirement to use matchmaking in the raid is a bad idea? Like, so I, imagine, like, you do a strike playlist. If you enter with two people, then you automatically get match made with a, with a No, no, no. It has to be an option of whether no. or not you're going into a match made or going into a non-match made. Yeah, yeah, like you or definitely need that. Made, yeah, yeah, like it, it can't just auto fill raids. Us to use it would be an awful idea. Well, okay, okay maybe I'm misreading or misunderstanding the the question. Say it again. The question reads: If Bungie decides to add raid matchmaking as an option in Destiny Two, do you it's think there option. should be a requirement to use it or unlock it? See, uh, I'm interpreting that as you have to meet the requirement, as in you've, requirement, you've hit like a, beat the raid. Yeah, you've hit a level, like, and you've also oh, beat the yeah, raid. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's okay, the requirement the to unlock raid, the like, matchmaking mode. Oh, okay. raid, you get to All be right. in that match. That's what I'm thinking too. I'm saying the same thing as Tefty did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not like you're required to matchmake in the raids. That would be awful. Yeah, you gotta you, you gotta have yeah. a, a large uh, PVE elo. <laughs> P- e- 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 I don't have e- any interest in raid matchmaking. I honestly, I don't, don't. I don't really I don't care too much about it either. Do. But I mean, a lot of people ask about it. So I mean. If they're going to have one, I could at least have to beat the raid before or something. See, here's the problem. Here's the problem, though. With us, we have no problem forming a team and making it happen. It's the people. Yeah. That's that's always been the case for me. I used LFGs. I used, you know, I used the 100.io. But I just picture getting into a raid that's been match made. And there's going to be people in there with no microphones. There's going to be people yelling and playing music into oh, their microphones. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, but that's the same thing. That is, is not a great experience that I stuff. want at all. Oh, I can't imagine doing Wrath of the Machine with a, with a, oh, with a no. match made group. I, I mean, I some people, like, some people would, would though. That's the thing. Though. Some people like, oh, I said, God, get on the plate. How many times do I have <laughs> to tell you when the guy does, just get on the plate? You know I, I mean? am. And I understand that there needs to be some kind of system in place for Destiny 2 for raid, like putting groups of people together in raids. Yeah. Like, I think there should be something in game to get that done. I do not think matchmaking is the way to get that done. No, I think that is a bad example. Of I don't how think, to get that yeah, done. I don't, I don't think it, yeah, for sure. Maybe if they only opened it to like, like I said, you beat the raid and it's on easy mode only, you're matchmaking. I don't know, something. See, it, but like, they wanted to do it, but there I mean, is I wouldn't a way go with to do it. it. There is a way to do it. It just requires, like, whatever the, say, say for the Axis fight, like the looking for group version or the match made version, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Like, it, it would require changing some of the mechanics to be way more forgiving because there may not be any communication uh, <laughs> on a console. So, so you're going to dump down the whole game just so you can get people in there who can't get a group. Wow, did uh, it? It's, it's, it's very simple. It's, it's, and tears, everybody though. complains about it, don't they? Wow, did it's tears, like, though, right? No, they're, they're, really- okay. 
<laughs> I'm saying for for the looking for group system in WoW was a heavily dumbed down version that people still played like copiously. A lot of the yeah. people were like, "I like this because it means I can finally experience the raid. I can so, experience whatever story was in there, and I don't have to like look for a group, which was very difficult." So there's still the hard raid though. There's yeah, yeah, like, still, oh, yeah. Hard- Oh, okay. start, yeah, no, the hard raids, just only so, for like the easy mode raid, like very easy style. Yeah. Basically, like <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with fight, that. That'd be fine. The, the Axis fight and looking for group, it would be like instead of you know you have a very short time to dunk the thing on his back, it, they would add like another three to five seconds. Seconds, yeah, it would like double, like you know, just make it a lot easier than what it is right now. Yeah, and and probably the, the health would be lower so, as well. So one of the things that All I right, would say a, about that's that, that's a good example, I think, Patrick. That's that seems really mm-hmm. smart. Is for for each raid, make the normal something that's easy. It's matchmakeable, but yeah. rewards aren't as good. Yep. But yep. you can that's get exactly in there happens. with a random exactly. team. You can learn the raid, and maybe yep. you pick up a couple of friends out of that matchmaking. Okay, yeah, exactly. I, I'm completely on board with that. That yeah, you exactly. can matchmake that. If you can make it fun, and then the hard mode raid that requires a coordinated team. Yes, of exactly. People to get through. I, yeah, I love that. I honestly think that's the only way that they could even do it. Like they do it. Yes, yeah, the only way. That's yeah, the only sure. way. I mean, you, yeah. I love that idea. Pope, Somebody in chat said bunny slope raid version. I love it. The bunny Pope, slope. You, Pope, you had something to say? Well, give me a second. The 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 beagle is, is barking. Hold on. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> beagle bark. Quoter on the gate lord says, "Why do you, why do you think Bungie didn't bring the normal POE Skolas Quadron to 390 Light? I miss Guardians visiting. I think they didn't do it because they did it in the spring update last year. Is they did the challenge of Yeah, I mean they did. Yeah, yeah, they did update a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Mm. I'm so, okay. So I, my, I just wanted to say something about matchmaking. I think that it's very. I'm I'm very. I'm a huge proponent of matchmaking. I think it's something that's great for the community. But I think there should be an option, always an option to opt in or out. And it's the same thing that I've been telling Bungie since we looked at PvP. There needs to be a ranked playlist and there needs to be a uh, 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 a social playlist. An opportunity for people that just want to have fun and then there's the people that take it super serious, right? And then want to be competitive. Yeah, I think that when you look at the PvE side of things... I think that you need to have an option, just like we get the 390 light version, the normal, the easy, the raid. I think we talked about those three options, but there, there, there's just a, a selection button that you say, do you want to, you know, match bake for your fifth or sixth player? Do you? There's been numerous games where they have offered that as an opportunity, but yeah. they need to do something like they have, you know, when say for example, Call of Duty Zombies. A game mode that I'm sure you guys have played that takes teamwork and coordination, right? And and if you don't have it, it it's very easy to wipe in, in zombies. One of the things they did is they allowed you to sit in lobby and and um and ready up, right? And so if they added a mechanic where they filled up seven sl- six slots and you you know, you could say, Hey, does anybody have a mic? If that's an important thing for you, somebody in the lobby says, hey, I got a mic. OK, here, give me a second. I'll send you an invite. You back out. You send them an invite. Now you got two people. You jump in and you go, you know, and and you start talking. You look at their uh, stats and you you, you you find a raid team that way. And it's so a, you're using matchmaking as an LFG at this point. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, it, like it is. But matchmaking, you're not actually using matchmaking to find you a match. You're just I picking, don't want to. I want to people out of it. I want to yeah. opt in. I want to opt in and I want to ready up. If if they put me into a raid with the 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 guy that's playing a trumpet or chomping on chips or <laughs> you know or playing loud music and and I don't want I don't want any of that. So I want to be able to have some sort of selection method like they did for zombies <laughs> that I thought was really effective. Yeah. <laughs> Play, playing the damn trumpet though. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I got to practice while I raid, guys. Sorry, it's, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Exams yeah, coming on up. <laughs> anyway, uh, Tyler oh, Andrew Zelnis <laughs> says, "Did any of the raids change your ranking from best to worst after all of them hit 390?" No. Kind of solidified. I don't think they did. The like Crota yeah. raid moved up, I think, into second spot. Well, for- okay. Well, oh. uh, I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but Death Singer's part was difficult for some, for sure, though. 
getting up in there, getting fast. You got to be fast enough to kill everything it's in time. Challenge mode, but I actually like the challenge mode on that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I like I like the challenge mode in that too. I think it's I think it's really fun. It actually, it adds a different, really big different element to the to that raid. It just makes it a lot more fun and a lot more. You know, you're 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 more into the to the raid instead. It used to be just running there, kill you know, kill her really fast and get out. Now you got ogres killing people. People are actually dying in that area more. <laughs> so that's a lot more fun for sure. I think I think they made a lot of cool changes. Like I've always liked the pit version or the pit area where you got to run through the you know, run through the lanterns. I always thought that was a very cool mechanic for the raid. The bridge section is more interesting and it ends in All such a bridge fantastic a lot way now. Oh, and that's then, the best part of the whole any raids I think I've ever had, man. The sword right? of swords is just slamming everything, dude. It's going at it. The Death it's Singer a- part was very annoying before. Now it ends when you kill the Death Singer. I think that's you know the correct way to do that. And Crota is a lot less glitchy. I think to me, it's just under Vault of Glass now, and just under because I really enjoy running Crota now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I had a lot more fun with Crota this time around. I always, I always had fun with Crota. It's like a strike; you can get people through it real fast. You know. Yeah. Now, actually, you know, like I said, now you got to you know pay attention. People got to you know build bridge. Everybody's get across and 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 at, and at killing killing her. Everybody's got to stay alive. Everybody's got to roll. You know, go up there and kill that knight. Everybody, two people right here. One person goes in. You know, I'm just having just have a lot more fun with it for sure than what it used to be. I think, if anything, for me, it's just it highlighted how awesome raids are in Destiny across the board. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like yeah, it's probably, so yeah. nice to have four raids to go into and get rewards. Yeah, it for really them. is. It's fun. It's easily the best PVE content. I can't wait to see oh, what yeah, Destiny yeah. Two does. I've had so much fun mm-hmm. for sure. A- uh, yeah, AOT's definitely you know brought back fun a lot more fun than you know previously before. In the last, you know, last six months plus, for sure, for yeah. me, anyway. Yep. Uh, Joe Siganolfi says, with Destiny's move towards melee weapons becoming more prominent, do you think there will be more of an emphasis on melee weapons in Destiny 2? I would like to see this. I don't think there's any way to answer that. We did see those supposedly leaked images that Bungie said were old and not used with the sword and the spear and the yeah, the shield. That, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing that stuff. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But it'd be kind of it'd be fun though. For sure. No real I'd way love, to answer this. I'd love to see Praetis, uh, um not Praetis, Um What's the shield from Vault of Glass? Cabers. Cabers. Yeah, the, I'd love to see elements like that. You know, but make those types of decisions like a, a an exotic shield, right? Be used and utilized by teams in like PvP or in PVE to be yeah. a support type weapons for like your teammates right you know to create like, an aura like or... reinhardt in overwatch kind of thing i don't play overwatch i'm sorry he makes a big what, shield what, what is a big shield yeah 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 or you know <laughs> yeah. something something like in call of duty where even though it was one of the most abused mechanics in in pvp where they <laughs> the, the, the guy that the, the, you would plant oh yeah the shield and then and head, glitch it, head, head glitch it with a machine gun mm-hmm. yeah yep but something like that, where you can use those elements to change the dynamic of the maps to be able to utilize uh, your 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 team's strategy to you know strategically stay in one place. Oh yeah, I, don't know, I think they definitely proved that. Like they they got melee weapons down to a very interesting science in a first person shooter, mm-hmm. where you know you go third person. They're very one note though, aren't they? I mean, yeah, kind of. And they're all it's, 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 it's all swords, but you know we got the we got the axe, which has a special attack on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I I feel like there's like all that is just kind of like put dipping your feet in the water a little bit, seeing how yeah. seeing how it performs uh, yeah. with the game. And th- I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you could do. I wouldn't with. mind seeing a special weapon as a you know maybe it's not a one shot one kill every time, but you know like a little more variety, like a spear or something. Maybe a spear or a you know a knife or I don't I don't know what it could be. It, I, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing. They did it such a good job with the swords. I'd love to see them expand on it for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I agree. I think, completely agree. I think really what it comes down to is that they have to evolve their their bullet system and like the just the overall sandbox itself has to has to push the boundaries that it has right now in order to have oh, those for sure those melee weapons come into it. And I'll I've said in the past I'll say it again like I want. Solar arc and void to actually feel like solar arc and void when you shoot them <laughs> and not just feel like bullets that are getting colored. You know, like arc would be awesome in PVE if it actually electrocuted the enemies when they're getting shot by arc and like did some mm. sort of oh, stun yeah. thing, you know? 
That'd be kind of yeah, it'd be kind of cool for sure. Yeah, so yeah, that would be cool. So if they expand that sandbox and then allow it for some of these melee weapons to have some interesting opportunities as well. I think that'd be great. But I will say, like Bungie comes from um, a lineage of having those melee weapons be one hit kills, and that's typically because you have a bunch of other close range weapons that are one hit kills. You know, gravity hammer, yep. energy sword, all well, that stuff. And 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 what I'm and what I'm arguing against is or, uh, what I'm arguing for is that the um, melee weapon becomes part of the dynamic of the game, where you can use it to adjust, like like uh, um, like grenades are doing, kind of like what grenades are doing now, but allow them to create a different dynamic of the gameplay, and so that the heavy weapons aren't just. Um, these one shot kill weapons mm-hmm. that they allow you to mimic um, in a passive way. Your, what else could they know? do besides shields to do that? Well, so, so think about it. So like, what if you had a, um, and when you gave the example of a shield, what if you had an, an opportunity to, um, to use your super to um, create a, a, I don't know, platform, change the moment, movement of, of a position, you know, to be able to, I don't want to say zone off an area, but um, I guess that's what the shield does. But I, I guess I'd, I, on the spot, I'd have to think about it. But I mean, like, we've got a lot of different um, ways that we've seen in other video games. People use passive supers. And I, I keep bringing this up. Yeah. But I want to see more. Overwatch does a lot of them. You know, Overwatch, like, you know, if you're a sniper, you can, you, your super is, you can see people through walls all of a sudden, right? You can see their outline yeah. through walls. Yep. And another super is, you know, so that helps the whole team because the whole team gets that benefit. Um, you know, you can have shields. Like, right now we have one shield where it's the Titan bubble, but we could have another shield where it's only a front-facing bubble, but you can move it as you move, you know? So that... You know, that adds another opportunity. I think a lot of things yeah. can be learned from, uh, you know, some other games like that. Yeah, yeah I guess I, I guess I, that's that's my goal is to see in Destiny 2 to see more the support player be given more tools to customize their gameplay and support Slayers. Because I sure as hell am not a Slayer and I really enjoy playing with guys that are, you know, God tier Slayers. And if you get it, if you're a good support player, those guys really truly appreciate your addition to the game mm-hmm. right you make them better they make you better you you know it's a it's a symbiotic relationship and it it just feels right now that destiny pvp is very flat it's all very aggressive very very um, ability or- you know, oriented yeah and i want to change that i want to change the 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 dynamic though that what the what that looks like and so that's interesting uh most interesting korean says if you walk around with a <laughs> With a two size too little shirt or wet socks, which would you prefer? Oh man! All Ugh. right, so your choice is a shirt that's two sizes too small, small. or wet socks. Wet oh, socks. Oh man! I'm wet picking, socks? I'm, yeah. Oh man! I don't socks. know, dude. Dude, I'm, with pick, like a I'm shirt, picking a shirt when it's like riding up in your armpits and everything. Oh yeah! Uh, no, it's, it's, it's annoying. It only goes dude, like halfway up your stomach. Oh god! Wet <laughs> socks, man. I don't wet know, socks. Dude, I can't go. I don't know, man. Wet socks is. I, I was gonna. Wet I go. I was, misery too. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm French going, foot. I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm going with. The, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going with the shirt, dude. I can't. I don't know. I just don't think the wet socks thing. I can handle it too long. I'm opting out. I'm going naked. Going naked. <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> I'm just gonna Hulk through that shirt. I'd be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd go small shirt because wet socks. Like it. If yeah, I get I so much of a smidgen of water in my socks, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm put too. into a bad mood. I'm like, oh, I God. do photography on the weekends and I bring an extra pair of socks just in case. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> hey, I'm putting the shirt on, man. Just throwing the shirt on. Just, I don't even care. Just not the wet socks. Can't deal with it. <laughs> Yo, JVTJ215 says, Do you ever think about creating a DCP email for longer form questions? And. Uh, I know that we have thought about it. Uh, The problem is, do we want to read three paragraphs of somebody else's question on air? It's the same. Okay. We had a, we had a conversation on Twitter about actually having like a voice questions come in and we play the voice. But I, I always find that to be hugely uninteresting. Yeah. yeah. I listen to call in shows and somebody's (laughs) rambling on for 10 minutes with trying to ask their question. I like the Twitter questions because we can ask ask them quick and hopefully answer them quick well on twitter too also they can just like if they have a phone or whatever they can just write down the question take a picture of it and then boom send it on and just tag you in the picture 
Mm-hmm. Then you got the whole you got how many par- how much they want to ask or whatever. I mean, you can fit a lot more on that. Than you can on on the, the 140 words. True. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, I resist it. <laughs> I don't want to read three paragraphs of a question. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't want to either. <laughs> yeah, it's tough for the format. Anybody too. else got anything? Yeah. That's it. Pope Bear wants the long questions. Uh, I, I, I want the opportunity for somebody to have a voice that is, you know, maybe a caveat that, you know, leaving us something can inform our discussions and we may paraphrase from them. We may pull from them. I I don't agree that we should, you know, put it out there that, Hey, email us, uh, you know, your script for the next for destiny two, and we'll read it. I don't think that that is, but I think that, Twitter can be very limiting, and then there, there. If somebody wanted to link us to a a longer form type question, maybe that those would be more substantial than what we, we get. We sometimes. do get those, and I do add those in when I, you know, when they're not. A lot of those end up being when I see them, like it's a screenshot of like a longer question. Mm-hmm. What it often ends up being is, what do you guys think about this idea? And it's like a new loadout for Sun Singers. But I think, like, you know. It's interesting, but to talk about it on the podcast, I'd have to spend 15 minutes explaining exactly what he's doing, you know, because I'm looking at it visually, but I've got to make sure that everybody can understand it audibly. And that's not easy to do. Yeah, I like the conversational feel of what we got here, and I don't want to change that dynamic. I really appreciate it. But I do want to have a place for somebody to send us a comment. If they really want to talk to us, they can send us a comment and it, it most likely won't get on the air, but it's. It's it's if you want to do it, you can. And you and you know where you can do that right now? The Destiny Community Podcast Discord. Because we have a oh, very yeah, large, Discord. Really good. a good place for it. Yeah, Discord, a very yeah. large and thriving community where, you know, we're generally in it. I, I haven't been talking that, that much this week because I've been moving, but uh I we, I think we've also discussed maybe taking starting to take some questions from the Discord as well, from our Discord members, which it's free to join. Just yep. go on the uh, discord.gg forward slash DCP. We have an official partnered link now, so it's very easy to uh, show it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, we're, we're, at, we're putting up the um, splash page to that. Um, nice. De- uh, Ash and uh, Red have, and I have been working on uh, the, the when you go to sign up for it for the first time, it's going to look customized instead of the standard you know, yeah. page that you get. Uh, Ringo the Gun says, what if your character in Destiny 2 grew a beard by passing in-game time? Similar, I think, to, he means to Witcher 3. Uh-huh. You can do, you can go to a barber shop or not. <laughs> I mean. I think that's a cool idea. I'd rather just be able to select a beard that I want to yeah, wear. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of it's cool. a cool Instead idea. Having, like, a whole system designed around growing it, hair. It's a cool idea that I feel it serves no actual purpose in-game. Well, neither does a beard. Well, neither well, does I mean, any of the, the well, armor a, looks. We need beards. And, and you know, we need the beards. Have the beards. <laughs> yeah. It, it is cool things. in Witcher yeah. 3 because once you re- realize what's happening, you're like, wait a minute, he's growing beard over time. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> you, do you guys, do you guys cool. notice that the only guy who's saying this is the one, the only person on the podcast who doesn't have a beard? Is there a conspiracy right now? Maybe is there because a I shaved mine off so I yeah. wouldn't deal with it while I'm driving. I'm not saying Patrick's. Anti beard. I'm just asking with your beard. Yeah. <laughs> deal with it? Not. What? Deal? You don't deal with your beard. This, beard. This, you don't deal with this. This accentuates you. Yeah, I don't understand this. It makes you a better What do you person? have to deal with? Yeah. Yeah. It makes uh, you a better person. You're inconvenienced <laughs> by your beard? Yeah. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that was blasphemous. But, okay. You guys want to know the real reason I can't grow an actual beard? It stops right here. It, it, it doesn't go up, it goes. <laughs> down like that it, it does not grow well so that's why i always shave it you gotta use the comb over technique just yeah you comb up. it up there a little bit of hair hairspray comb up. <laughs> <laughs> hey our yeah. president can do it so can patrick <laughs> <laughs> uh lord freda says i pre-ordered the titan and saladin mcfarland figures did you guys pick any up maybe the galley love the podcast have not anybody have pick not. up any of the not. figures not yet. I have not. Let's think about the Gallahorn. I've been, I've been uh, trying to get in contact with him. I got uh, the their community manager basically information, and he's like, he has yet to return my emails. Huh. I'm trying to get some like it's like a giveaway or something, but no, no deals yet. I'm so I am strongly considering getting the Gallahorn. 
Uh, I was mm-hmm. talking about this on stream today because I resist trying to, I, I resist buying this kind of tchotchke type stuff because I, you know, do I want to spend my money on something that doesn't really actually add value to my life? And the answer is usually no. However, every once in a while I get suckered in, like with the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition, where I'm getting a bag that will literally sit in the bottom of a drawer for the next 10 years until I throw it away. (laughs) (laughs) So what I'm actually really thinking about doing is canceling my pre-order for the Collector's Edition or picking it up and giving it away once it comes out, because I know a lot of people do want that. Uh, And ordering a galley, because that thing is a life-size replica, and I am positive I could find a creative use for it in a video. Right True. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back ones. But, yeah, I mean, that stuff is all cool. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I need that. But do I really need it? Does it actually add happiness to my life? No, probably not. But I a galley would. It depends on, you know. <laughs> a galley would. Yeah. Depends on how you... Make if a you, potato if you gun wanna, like, out of a galley? Oh, that'd be nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it depends on if you're the type of person that would set something like that up. And the Gallahorn looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Yep. Austin H. Nick Kaunaki says, what's your favorite encounter from any raid? Go. Favorite encounter? Dick Wall. Dick Wall? That's a good one. Uh, That's a good one. Good. <laughs> that is a really good one. When you have a raid version going into the dick wall, that is usually pretty no, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's hilarious. It is very fun. Maybe that's because I'm just trollish in nature, but I always get excited about that. Oh, yeah. Heard here, I folks. Think- we heard here first, po- folks. Pope gets excited about the dick wall. He loves the dick wall. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'm not going to say they're not right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I really enjoy the new Death Singer fight. Like that is yeah, that's really that fun. fun. That that's one of my favorite fights out there. Yeah, that is really fun. You know, aside from the challenge being a pain in the ass, Axis is kind of amazing. Oh yeah, it's it's a good it's a good thing. Yeah, for sure, Axis is really fun. Yeah, just the whole the ambiance, the mood. He turns into Spider Man, Spider Bot. The music, man. Music in the background. The music is just, amazing. Just going. Yep. Oh yeah, it's just, just it's a good it's a good it's a good environment for sure. Also, you get to get right up in his his spider legs and actually damage him. He doesn't do the dumb uh, area of attack crap yeah. that all the yep. other bosses do, which I hate. Yeah. See, so, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Chat brings up a good one. The cinematic Zamboni fight encounter. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a good one. That's, I would like that more if there wasn't that fucking crazy ass slowdown during that fight. That really yeah. ruins it. Yeah, ruins it. Yeah, like five frames per second sometimes. You're like, eh, that, so, that, that. So I haven't personally tried this, but people have been saying that with the PS4 Pro on boost mode, you don't get frame drops anymore. Oh, yeah. really? Mm. Mm. I know that. Supposedly, mm. yeah. I haven't tried it yet. I'll have to try that out just to see then. Yeah. I haven't heard about that. I think for me, it's still like the whole Templar. It's the build up to the Templar with the confluxes, then the oh, yeah. oracles, then yep. the Templar fight itself. It's it's not really one encounter because it's really three encounters all together. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's the it's one of the my favorite raid encounters because you have to be like your whole team is working together to make sure yeah. things get done. Yeah. But you're also you're you're very much in danger at all times with snipers looking at you, with Praetorians coming at you, with the uh, what are the guys that are green and they leave the blobs on the ground called? Uh, oh, fanatics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fanatics. Fanatics. Yep. fanatics. Like, there's just, it's just, there's a lot going on. And now that they've kind of reduced that timing, so it, it, the whole thing goes a little quicker, it's a lot more interesting to me. And when you have a really good raid team, it's also one of the most fun times to be with a raid team because everybody's fighting, but everybody's cracking jokes. And oh, yeah. Like, it's a, it's, it's one of the, it always is one of my favorite parts of a raid. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite I, my favorite part probably has to be the um probably has to be now I guess the bridge on on Crota man you get everybody gets good. over you get those swords man everybody's just chopping away bro and laughing hysterically yeah and it's just fun too. it's just so fun man everybody <laughs> you, it's not just everybody slamming so much you can't even hear your own sword slamming you just hear everybody else's sword yeah. slamming it's just great it's just it's just a fun every part. once in a while like there's one knight that gets like four yep. sword slams on them. <laughs> yeah and somebody just dies it's they're dead you're like yep. <laughs> Don't you not to be by yourself over there? <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, there's 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 a lot of good fights, and um, 
you know, the creativity of them. Now, once you start to think about them, now that we have access to all the raids, yeah, it's 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 really a good time to be playing and be in and 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 feel nostalgic about the game. I I feel like it, it it's it's a good send off for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I I really do agree with Patrick though. That that Death Singer fight is really fun now. Yeah, it's, it's really fun, good but... for sure. Yep, agreed. And such a big difference that it was in year one. Definitely. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see here. Bamboozy says, now that we've all had all the raids revamped, besides collecting a couple more things, is Destiny basically done till the fall to you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I still play I'll, it. I mean, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's like done for, I mean, for me, obviously, I like to help other people get shit. So, I mean, it's going to be going yeah. on for a long time for me. But, I mean, in terms of me getting my stuff, yeah, probably, yeah, for sure. I got a lot of work to do on the book to get my t shirt, and I want that t shirt. Really? Yeah, you haven't gotten uh, it yet? No, I'm not even close, Pope. What? Really? No. Yeah. I got a ton of work to do. I Over the last four weeks, all I did was raid. I just raided over and over and over again. So all of the strike stuff, I only started working on the yeah. strike stuff. The crucible stuff was uh, Rift and Clash. I haven't done any of that yet. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that I got to do. All the collectible stuff. You'd think being a hoarder like I am, I would have done more of that collectible stuff, but I haven't. On much Prior, of just of just <laughs> focus on just focus on leveling up the needed nodes in the the hunter the the warlock and the and the titan and yeah. then do it's it's you don't have to get you can get a hundred percent on the book really yeah. quickly and not have to touch a lot of the nodes yeah, yeah. You can get like like was it like eight is like was it like eighty something percent equals a hundred percent pretty much right yeah. so I was thinking anyway. Yeah, I think it there. looks like seventy five to me, but I mean maybe it's yeah. Really I low. thought it was like yeah, seventy five or eighty percent. Well, I got a lot to do there. I'm, I meant like seventy six percent or something like that. Yeah, I hundred percent of the book before I moved, just so I could like actually sit here and order it tonight, probably. Nice, nice. Uh, and then you know the rating is fun, but I I got to be honest with you. After we've played, whether it be the alpha or the beta of Destiny Two, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough <laughs> playing Destiny 1 on a daily basis. Just having oh. had that taste of the new freshness, going the back. I mean, I love Destiny, but, man, it's going to be rough going back. Oh, yeah, yeah. After you beta, after you beta, it's going to be hard going back and playing the old, for sure. It, it was rough every time I played, like, Taken King at, like, at E3. House of Wolves had been out for, like, a month, two, yeah. maybe. And now imagine it's a totally new game, yeah. though. Yeah, it's totally new game. A, so it's not an update for the game we have. It's a mm -hmm. new game. So when it drops yep. May 18th, I mean, it's going to be May tough. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's wicked tongue. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was just going to comment on that too. Yeah, it's definitely going to be difficult going back from a beta to play Destiny One. Um, I'm still enjoying like, I'm still enjoying raiding. Raiding in general has been fun for me, and also I need a Vex Myth class still. So yeah. And I've been doing six characters, both, like, religiously. They've been both yeah. getting it. That's a lot of rating. It is. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of rating, man. <laughs> it is, man. And I've been doing you know, really a lot, too, though, for sure, on both. So. But I, I got both of my first, my first goes, thank God, so on both, on both consoles. Oh, wow. Yep. It took me. It took me till this week to get Fate right Bringers, now. though. I didn't get a Fate. I didn't get my. I didn't get my legendary Fate Bringer <laughs> until this week, though. So you know. I haven't gotten one at all yet. Like, thank God. Wicked Tongue Media Media says, Speaker dies in the beginning of Destiny 2. Called it. What do you guys think? Sure. Okay. I can, I can see it happening for sure. Two tears in a bucket. I mean, and honestly, to have called that, you would have had to say that a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, right now. Called it. <laughs> Reddit on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> There's... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Arne says, which is the most rare emblem that all of you guys have? PS Love the Crew and what you guys do? Probably one of the charity emblems from like uh, donating to something. Yeah. I, the Nepal emblem, I think, would probably be mine. It fits, that's mine for sure, too. Yep. Either that or the the Bungie Heart emote. I the really Bungie Heart emote, emote, yeah. The emblem yeah i actually love that emblem. one that's my, yeah, I love, that's my that's my favorite too actually so i wear it all the time anybody got one does, does, nobody here has movie of the week or no nah. budgie bounty well patrick you have bunch of bounty mm, i have oh, you actually got it yet. no I, no 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 um i have to actually go i got the like, bungee bounty yeah, yeah i have to go actually win and not just get it like 
Oh, you well, can't. You don't well get it. To being me, the like guy, Pope Bear did. You know, when Patrick <laughs> tries to throw shade, he doesn't really like. It's more. I don't of know, like, man. From where I'm standing, there's a lot of shade hanging over you. <laughs> uh, that's that's like that's a like a midget casting a shadow, man. That's not that's not. There's no shade there. I don't know. Depends on the angle of the sun, man. That can be a huge shadow. <laughs> All I'm there's saying is that. In- I'm I'm, I'm very proud of my uh, bungee bounty emblem. On on that uh-huh. camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of my bungee bound. I was one of the first bungee bounties, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't care how I got it. Jay Roach says, "Do you ever call each other by your real names?" Uh, we call, call Tefty. Yeah, calls me by real name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by real name. Uh. Um, I don't even think they know my real name. I think Pope. I know it, Pope, uh, just because the phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We we, we oh, usually I, maybe we, we, if that's your real name actually. Yeah. Uh, pro tip: I, I, for, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> pro tip for anyone ever that ever might think that they hey maybe I should go do YouTube and stuff for a living. On your very first video, don't give your real name because that just <clears throat> that that killed that for me. I don't know. Do you, do you have a regret about that, Patrick? I mean, I I did it specifically because I had kids. That's the reason yeah. I used. Um, no, in in like hindsight, it, it's fine. Whatever. Um, like part of me says like, eh, probably shouldn't have done that. But there's, I guess, there's good name recognition in it now. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have kids. The only reason I did it is because you know at the time of me starting YouTube and all that stuff, there's you saw a lot of like people getting doxxed and mm-hmm. getting swatted, which is really scary to me. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Still is because I have kids because we have pets. You know, you hear these stories about the cops just coming in and immediately shooting the dog, you know, <laughs> and then like, you know, everybody being on the floor, like with guns on them. And yeah, um, I, I, I'm, I'm still really paranoid about oh, it. Like, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm when, I, when I give my when I give my apartment to her, I'm like scared to like look out my balcony. It's like, oh, OK, you can see you can see what street I live on now. Basically, great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake one time on Twitter. I took a picture of my dog and his dog tag. And my <laughs> address on oh, no. And luckily, yeah, <laughs> oh, like God. somebody told me real quick, but, you know. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, man, some stuff's scary like that. You you don't think about it, but it happens, though. Yeah. I do. I, I keep my name separate just to keep the throng of, 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 of people interested in getting to know me better you know, at bay, right? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. just professing mm-hmm. their love to me and just, mm-hmm. it, I just say back, you know? Are you really that popular in the gay community? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm a good looking man, Briar. <laughs> I can see, and, that. I can um, see that, man. You know, you got a nice it, beard going. It looks good, man. And I, uh, I, I would consider it a, um, <laughs> I would consider myself, uh, you know, they have, there's a lot of guys that, you know, have discerning tastes. And, and if a man came up to me and said that I thought, they thought I was attractive, I would, I would be, uh, uh, you know, thrilled. Interested? I'm not interested because I'm I'm very I'm very happily married. But um, but uh, I have I think that um, I don't know. There's a there's some um, gay communities around here in San Francisco, and if you ever want to go out and have a good time and go to great food and clubs, you know, that's those are some of the best communities to be living nearby. So, yeah, I would I would consider myself honored. Uh, that, that I have the style to attract one. I want to bring something up real <laughs> quick. Uh, Dark Gandhi, he's uh, he said, and he's also part of the law enforcement. He said that you can actually register with your local police department to avoid swatting. They will usually call ahead if you notify them that you yeah, work from home. I already, yeah, uh, and just I notified mine. Well. I've already, I've notified mine too already. So, so for that's sure. a good tip for anybody. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Woody's Gamer Tag. He, this is one of the reasons that I've done that. Uh, he actually did it too a few years ago, and guess what? It anyway. Like they were in his house with guns pointed yeah, at his kids. I've, his, I've heard, yeah, I've heard, family. I've heard it at works, and I've heard it's not. A lot of times they don't care; they just come in anyway, just to make sure. But I mean, Obviously I mean, it depends it on the hurt. Dep- depends on the yeah. police department. Yeah, yeah. I bet Seattle would be pretty good about it. They all play Destiny, yeah. right? <laughs> if uh, you guys, are, if there's anybody in Seattle, a part of the law enforcement community up there, uh, we, uh, you know, I, I personally uh, wish you, your. Um, there's some stuff going on in there tonight, and I just want to, my heart and my family, go out to you about, uh, you know, hope the, the the police officers that were hurt are okay. So, anyway, 
I know that they watch our podcast and um, play Destiny. So I hope uh, that they recover quickly. Tennyson says, since we're losing current abilities in Destiny 2 and going to be visiting new worlds, do you think leaked photos last year are new Jovian abilities? And he's talking hmm. about those yeah. Destiny 2 leaked images. Yeah. Uh, con- concept art. I mean, it could it could be like that we have like a spear, a sword, shield to use. Um, I don't know. The, part of the thing, fun thing about concept art, it's more about the kind of the tone, the feeling that the work will kind of inspire upon the upon the developer. So I feel like we're going to see some rage from the Guardians. So that, that that's what that's what I kind of got from those images was just anger, rage, yeah. the the more visceral uh, uh, emotions that our Guardians never really uh, never really see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or any emotion from our Guardian. Yeah, exactly. We don't see, we see him talk. <laughs> So you know that that could be that that could be that what our guardians do is maybe they kind of tap into some of the more primal uh, aspects of whatever our our powers can be. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's definitely a through line from that art to what we've seen so far about this. Oh, definitely, like, definitely, no, yeah. no doubt about it. Yep. Twisted Fate says, "What's your biggest unanswered question from Destiny One that you'd like to know?" Oh, the stranger, God. yeah, just 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 the stranger that yeah, you can just who, say that. Who the hell was she talking to when she said, "How many? Stay right there. I'll I'll be there and whatever." Who are you talking to, stranger? Who? You were not born <laughs> of light. What the hell were you born of then? There's there's, there's a lot of questions for her. Jovian abilities. I'd really like to know our connection with the Vex. Yeah, like, I know I, there's a connection there. Like, did we create them? You know, like, how did we come upon them? Like, there's something there. I'm, I'm really interested to know more about it. I'm I'm super interested in finding out what role the queen plays. Mm. I wish I wish we don't leave her connection with Eris uh, and and her being the hidden and the work. Yeah. I, I would love to see a, an entire expansion of um, the queen and the Awoken and her having her be part of it somehow i really want yeah. to know yeah yo who the fuck are the nine <laughs> yeah do <true> that <laughs> and where are the dragons and why, <laughs> why, does, he dragons. Look like, uh, why does he look like a squid <laughs> <laughs> all right three more questions you guys okay with that yeah that's, I'm fine. that's cool all right leo sanchez says my friend triggered the hell out of me yesterday saying that wolverine is a boring character what do you guys think Time to find a new friend yeah yeah mm. new friends. <laughs> i'm saying man you gotta get some don't, somebody new. don't invite to a raid what? I think Wolverine is pretty cool, but I do have a problem with invincible characters in comic books. Like it takes the stakes out, right? Is there an actual invincible character that has no no sure, weaknesses? Like, uh, Hulk is kind of. I mean, Hulk's a pretty beast, man. He's a beast. Oh, like, I mean, you can say like the Hulk's weakness is you know the own, the own humanity attached to the Hulk. At least that's the way the Hulk well, views Bruce Banner to himself mm-hmm. and. The Hulk's Sorry. weakness is, is himself. It's yeah. his own yeah. rage. He's his own. He's the only thing that can defeat himself. Like, what do you think about Superman? I mean, he has a weakness. No. Yeah, but I mean, they right. gotta they've gotta jump through so many hoops to give him like a real uh, somebody like interesting to fight. Uh, yeah, because he's yeah, like, he's all powerful. Like he's a god. I mean, hell, even at, spoiler alert for the 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 one with Kevin Spacey in it. Like they even. They even had him lifting a rock of built entirely of kryptonite after he got stabbed in the ribs with a kryptonite dagger. It's like, this is supposed to be his weakness, right? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> that movie sucked. Anybody who defends it is wrong. Yep. That movie was bad. <laughs> yep. Do not trust anybody who defends that movie. They do not have your best interests at heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, there, I think I think the one of the staples of every superhero is that they have some mortal weakness so i don't think i don't think wolverine is 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 invincible he's he's definitely a flawed character yeah yeah i mean physically though <laughs> pretty much like he can die nothing can really kill. i mean if he got like Spo- thrown hey have you a- seen the recent movie yo yo no, pope you have a genuine problem 
I'm just saying the recent movie is really <laughs> explores the really the, 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 mor- the mortality of, of, of superheroes. And it's All right, really I'm going to move movie. on before Pope spoils the movie. I really want to see. Darth Jader says, if Pope Bear's RNG is so good, why does he keep losing bets? Hmm. <laughs> wow. Ow. <laughs> that, that hurts right here. That hurts right here. Or is it here? I'm not passing judgment. I'm just asking questions no, it's, over here. It's, it's, it's here somewhere. <laughs> left side. Somewhere. Your left side. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't even know if I have one. Um, I, all I, right. I think Pope Bear would be really good at like uh, blackjack or uh, like roulette, like non-skill based games. But as soon as you put some skill in there, like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. That RNG. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I am a luck. I, I, I do tend to be lucky. Um, I'm that annoying guy when you play poker that I will. You, you could just stop. Should you're, you're that annoying guy <laughs> <laughs> that when you're playing poker and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll push all in on, on nothing and then get something on the river. You know, it's, oh, it's you're that asshole? I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. I, I I'll have nothing and I'll stay in there and I'll just mess with people. <laughs> uh, Billy butt beard. This is our last question. If there is there a specific weapon or armor that once you see in the crucible, you make it your mission to kill that turd. For him, it's ramlocks with stickies. Mm. Is there one guy like when you see that combination, when you see that loadout, you're just like, oh man, I'm coming for that booty. It used to be like anyone that just only used a shotgun. And you you can just yeah. see him run. So yeah. everybody in the crucible during year two and Oh yeah, yeah. Ba- ba- yeah. You, know, you know that <laughs> scene too, in um, anything you're too pretty much yeah. Monty Python out. and the Holy Grail when uh, 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 Sir, sorry, whatever. He's just like running across a field and like you can just see him and it keeps cutting back and forth. Like that's basically what I see from the <laughs> shotgun. Just like a five minute him running at you thing. And you're like, yeah, really, dude. All right. Anybody else got one? Oh man, no, 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 dude. Night Stalkers using double double smoke grenades is pretty annoying, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh you know, god. To me, is the Shinobu's guys. Oh yeah, Shinobu's. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty rough. They're yeah, they're pretty rough though. But those those double smoke grenades, man, just irritate the heck out of me sometimes. Hmm. I'm sure nobody would say an armamentarium with uh, lightning grenades at all. But to um, me, that's, that's even compared to double stickies. It's yeah. not even that was sticky stink. Yeah, at least Seasons. I get away from those usually. Sometimes the uh, fusion grenades are, are crazy, and so are the smoke grenades. Fusions too. are really annoying, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm, I, I think that um, as long as it's not on a um, if it's on a warlock, I tend to have some sort of gripe. I tend to if there's a group of titans <laughs> in PvP, say there's a hunter, a titan, and a warlock, I just pure like. Cat twitch reflexes. I always aim at the warlock first. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. They were very dangerous for a very long time. Yeah. All right. Is that it? All right. That's it. That's all the questions. Awesome. God, we made it through. All did right, it. boys. <laughs> uh, we did it, guys. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the 29th episode of Destiny Community Podcast. Uh, if you want to find more of me, I am at Holtzman underscore YT on Twitter. And please do join the Discord. We are having a very, very large community there now. Probably one of the best LFGs in the in the, in the the land for... It's starting out to be pretty good for that. Yep. 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 Also, come visit them in Seattle. Help them, you know. Yeah. Stop on <laughs> by. Help them unpack. Bring them a bottle of wine, some pie, welcoming wagon. Some You'll pie? meet me at Mod Pizza right now. What, what was that address, address Patrick? <laughs> One two three State Street six nine six nine six nine. You're dreaming street. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Briar Rabbit. You can find me on Twitter at the Briar Rabbit. Every Thursday around noon or one p.m., I start asking for these questions. So if you'd like to submit a question for next week's episode, uh, reply to the tweet where I ask them. Uh, you can also find me on Twitch every day at one p.m. Eastern, uh, except for on Mondays because Mondays and. Uh, Uploading videos on YouTube on the daily. And I'm Tefty Teft. You can talk to me at Teft on Twitter. You can catch the streams I do here at twitch.tv forward slash Tefty Teft. Typically start around 6 p.m. Pacific. And uh, every now and then I do a early stream as well. And I've been um, uploading videos every now and then as well on my YouTube channel, Tefty Teft. Yeah. 
All right, and this has been Pope Bear. You can find me on Twitter at Pope Bear, and you can find me following uh, following these guys <laughs> like Bro- Broskin and Patrick Kaiser. Are you making fun of my accent right now? Pope? And uh, Bri- Briar Rabbit and uh, Tefty Tef. Um, it's it's, it's such something I do. And oh, uh, yeah. don't forget to tune in next week. We've got Mock'em. 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 We are also uh, taking applications to uh, fill Pope Bear's role uh, on the podcast. Uh, Mock'em so sure Mock is, is one role. of them guys that, that speaks Espanol. So we're going to. Oh, okay. We're really Boy, excited. Boy, if you don't have shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to have him on. But yeah. Oh, God. Broski, and where can people find you? Yo, I, you can find me on uh, at Twitter at Denial Broskian. Uh, you can also find me on here on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv backslash Broskian. Hi, and I miss Watts. <laughs> Thank oh, you no. very much. Oh, no. Ooh, watch okay. the podcast. No. You can find me at Miss Watts. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for tuning oh, in. God. We'll see you, oh, see you next week. Bye-bye. 420 YOLO. Let's get that meth. 420 high. <laughs> I was with you until you said get the meth. <laughs> and at 420, though. <laughs> no, 420, Brian. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, right. oh uh, God. Uh, we should host someone. Um, but. Steffi, you got some stuff for me. Yeah, I got I to gotta read some stuff out while you guys figure out who we're going to host, all right? Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We got. Sleep during gaming with seven months. Welcome back. Says it's been a great seven months. I look forward for future months ahead. Keep the great work, man. Thank you very much, Sleep. Uh, Double French with eight months. Thank you very much, Double French. Sarek the Fox with 13 months. Lucky number 13. Welcome back. Wise Crown 91 with eight months. Mirza with two months. Stewie 1214 with a brand new fresh sub. Wilson 309 with eight months. Spoonification with seven months as well. One month closer to the purple beard. Indeed, Spoonification. Captain Planet with 14 months of trying to get good. Bane XXL with four months. Love the stream. Love the podcast and love what you guys do. Keep it up. Uh, keep it up and keep the beer away from Pope. Agreed. Bane agreed. And mm-hmm. that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate all the support. Boy can't hold his liquor. Yo, my wife delivered these like two minutes after we started the show. Oh my show. god, I love those. <laughs> Briar, I love oh, those. <laughs> They're so good, right? I need to go to the store and get those. <laughs> Just been staring at them. <laughs> who are we who are we reading? Uh I I think I got someone. Yeah. yeah. What you got, baby? Uh, what slick. you got? Slick Rick? Yeah, just oh, slick. slick. Slicky Rick. <laughs> Spam Slick it in Rick. chat, man. Uh, Yo, and Huckstep1, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Slick. I can't click. S-L-I- it's going too fast. S-L-I-Q-1-1-1. Go All right. raid, Slick, Give guys. Slick Rick raid. Yep. Slick Rick raid. <laughs> Slick Rick raid. Put it in the chat Slick again. I, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> ah, okay, thank you. Thanks for Slick hanging, Rick guys. Raid. We'll see you next week. Appreciate all the support. Huh. <laughs>